right. There we are. I'm waiting for it. Uh, you know, I, 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 <laughs> I, I couldn't, like, I feel like this has been coming out of my mouth, like, unintentionally recently, because, <laughs> like, a couple months ago, um, I took Sandy to the IVET. She, she has to go in for annual checkups at the IVET because she needs to take some eye drops that, uh, mm-hmm. uh, and, you know, she has to have an annual appointment for them to give her more eye drops. Um, <laughs> and the, the lady on the phone, like, like she would ask a question and you give an answer and she goes, all right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it was the exact same intonation, like yeah. the exact same intonation every time it was just, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I've definitely heard people doing, like, pull that kind of stuff, you know? And the thing is, they, they don't even realize they're doing it. I know. I mean, and like, it's pretty, pretty much the same way same. probably for ev- everybody, really, yeah. if you're just, you know, you have a little, little catchphrase, I guess, <laughs> right? Sadie thought that was funny. Yeah, she thought that was funny. But yeah, like, I, I just found myself that, I, like, ever since that, I was just so amused by by the way she said it. I've just been saying, like, to myself, I'm right. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can basically hear that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. coming, like, uh, out of this person, I've, never met yeah. mouth. I can hear, I can, uh, I, I get exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah. So I, I spent, uh, I spent all afternoon doing my first beat pledge of the year. Oh yeah. I, I played through the entirety of heavenly sword. Oh, okay. And it's like, it's like a five hour game, right? It's like, yeah, like probably more like six hours, but it could be five. If you like never died, it'd probably be five hours. Yeah. But uh, the last the last phase of the last boss was pretty annoying. Other than mm-hmm. that, it was a pretty easy game, though. But I liked it overall. Nice. I mean, uh, it, it sure does have some frames that output at a certain rate. Uh, yeah, it is not a high rate, uh, and some of those frames are not full frames because they have a lot of Terran. Uh, but hey, you know, uh, so aside from that bit of Jake, I, you know, I thought it was, it's, it's an interesting time capsule, I think, because oh, like, for sure, you know, I mean, somebody was struggling at the start of that generation, you know, they're trying to do this big cinematic thing and you know, Andy Circus was like the only person in the world really who like had like that extensive experience, like being every part of the creation of a, of digital characters, you know? Yeah. So is he like, a villain in there? Yeah. I mean, he's the main bad guy and is the cinematic director. Okay. Because he's the, he's the main character in Enslaved. Correct. And yeah. he also plays like another character that's like basically himself, like at the yeah. like later in the game. But uh, yeah, he's he's the villain. It's like it is like so hammy. Like it's yeah, <laughs> it's like like, so, like him and like the other characters. Like the game's worth playing just for like how over the top the performances are. Like it mm-hmm. is. Like borderline unhinged in a kind of entertaining way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't see. I didn't realize he worked with them on that. I thought it was just an enslaved. No, no, no. Like that. That collaboration started at Heavenly Sword. I see. So I wonder if they just didn't do anything after Enslaved, because obviously, was there a game after after that? It was DMC probably? Ah. Uh... Yeah, probably, because that was also PS3, 360 era. Yeah. DMC. Should play that someday. Yeah. So anyway, I guess that that episode came out. Yeah. 
People, yeah, uh, people express a lot of condolences for my power button sticker. <laughs> there is like more comments on that the ending than pretty much like anything else. I feel like. Yeah, yeah uh, well, and I, you know, it's a good indicator that a lot of people watched through to the end. Yeah, even though it yeah, was, like, a lot of so... people were really like stuck it out for so sure. So silly that you know a video about a RGB mod was forty minutes long. I just. I don't know why I let it become that, uh, but uh, it did. There, there you go. Yeah. I mean, you said before that the like that whole phase part could have like been its own video, really. And yeah, it, it maybe it maybe it it should have been. You know, I, I was like kind of thinking if you could do that huh? if you could like pull it out and just like make it its own thing too. Yeah, or or kind of expand on it a little bit. I like yeah. you know, I like I, I was actually kind of thinking uh throughout the um uh <laughs> uh like later on like especially like after I finished like and I was like, you know, chatting with people in our Discord and stuff like it kind of got me think like I, something I've been thinking about a lot lately is how I kind of see there being like two very valid perspectives on what the true game image is. Right. Um, and you know, there a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, fall in the camp of, you know, Oh, it should only be the way it was back in the day. <clears throat> you know, it, it, you know, it should only be, you know, soft, uh, like CRT effects and stuff like that. You know, gain the pixels is, is inauthentic, should not be a thing. Don't get me wrong. I love the CRT effect of stuff. I, I mean, the CRT effect stuff. I mean, that was like my main focus in the RetroTink 4K video. I, I love that stuff, but I also love the other. I love both. Most people... Yeah like have to pick one or the other and they don't understand love and both. I love both. But mm -hmm. but here's here here's my counter argument to that that I've been thinking about a lot lately. While it is true that we didn't have like that pixel perfect look back in the day, I think most of us understood that the game was pixel we, we understood that behind that, you know, RF television, it was pixels, right? And, you know, I think I've told the story before about how I, you know, got off the graph paper and tried to copy sprites from other games so I could recreate them in Mario Paint, right? Like, mm. we understood they were pixels. So the, the way I see it, the aspiration to... Because no one, like, was satisfied with their TV back then. I mean, everyone's like, oh, my TV's a piece of junk, right? You, you, look, you, look, you look back I, on it now, right? But, I, I don't know. I don't think that that's... I was so excited going from uh, RF to composite. It was like a gigantic step up well, for I mean, me. That's and I what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I never like, felt like it was Like, bad. everyone wanted to do better, right? Everyone wanted better than they had, right? And I... I, the way I'm, what I'm saying is I don't think it's necessarily an anachronism to display with sharp pixels because if you could have had that back in the day, you would have taken it, right? Like it was an aspiration that you, you know, if only my picture were clear, it would be this. Like we, you, there, there was an understanding that it would be pixels if it was clear. I, so in other words, I, I see that as, as obviously two diverging paths in what we try to do with retro game images today, but I see them as being equally valid and that, that the, you know, the pixel path is not as out of place as some people make it out to be because we knew, we knew back then, like what, the image would be if it wasn't for all that stuff between the system and our eyeballs. Right. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> I, I get it. I, 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 I do understand that. Um, you know, the only real, uh, idea of like that the image could look better was, you know, in EGM talking about like how, you know, using RGB was a thing. 
Yeah. Well, but but, but it's also, just not I mean, something I ever felt like I like I never felt like it was like a, a something that I cared about having. Well, and you probably didn't think that you could, but I, but my, and it, 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 it's not that I was necessarily thinking like, oh, I could get to this point, but I, I still like, I still wanted to see it clearer and better. And, you know, the logical end point of that would be pixels, right? And you like both, like I do, right? You like, you like CRT style. Yeah, oh, you of like course. pixel style. I'm just saying like at the, at the time, like it's not something I, oh, I'm not saying everyone I, I really necessarily considered thought that, but I'm just saying that aspiration existed, right? Like the idea that like we would like better and better and better quality, but. <laughs> Some people were talking. I I kind I kind of love the idea of this. I don't know if I would ever do this, but like someone was saying, like so, so I can't remember what it what they were saying that that I could do it as a topic for. But it kind of made me think about that since I like I I was thinking like like maybe just like some sort of video on like like kind of almost like the philosophy of like how to display pixel graphics. Right. And like, it kind of made me think, cause someone was talking about Zeno gears disc two. And I was like, <laughs> wouldn't it be really funny if I was just like sitting in a chair in blackness with a spotlight over me, not making <laughs> eye contact with the camera, just sitting there and just like talking about, you know, this kind of junk for, you know, yeah. two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be kind of hilarious. Where the camera's kind of like up and pointing yeah, down yeah, at you, yeah, just yeah, like by yeah. yourself in this black void. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, that would be kind of funny. That would be. It sounds like a pain in the butt to uh, set up. Yeah, I don't know how. <laughs> I don't. I'd have to think real hard about how that would actually be technically yeah. achieved. I mean, you could do it, I guess, like in post by just. You know, masking out everything. Yeah. But it's good. I mean, it was it was a uh, it was a fun video, and like my like the phase stuff like definitely made my head swim. I'm just like, I'm I'm following, but at the same time, it's like <laughs> this like there like and I think it, oh, as time has gone on, you know, like throughout the lifetime of the channel. Uh, it's like you are like getting more into this stuff and I'm like getting less into like 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 the real like nitty gritty well, of it. I, I so think, I think that that's, that that kind of gives us like a good balance cuz right. like you would, like, like the, the like video your... you made would have been like if I made that version of it it would have been like 8 minutes long. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's more like things have like the technology of what we can use and stuff like has changed and evolved but like you've yeah. like you've hit your ceiling on like how deep you're interested in going but but again i think that's good because i think we've realized like what what things play more to our strengths uh than, right uh than, than, there's... than others like like there's so many things like all of the you know EverDrive and MemCard Pro setup and 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 all yeah. that kind of stuff like that stuff I I I just don't like I just don't like doing that stuff and you're like all into that so if yeah. you want to handle like you know you know for any given video topic accessories and compatibility and stuff like that and I just go nuts on on the scaling like I'm I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah and that's 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 definitely what's good like you know i think about like oh my gosh like i don't even know how you have so much to say about it like i can't possibly well, think of having that much to say I, and it's just like i don't even know where it comes from well, you know what i mean it comes from the process of making the video i always like to say that you know the the best way for me to learn about something is to uh, to make a video about it. You know, I, right. I, this, see, I had spent so little time with the analog portion of the, uh, of the RetroTink 4K up mm -hmm. until this video. And it was actually like, I, I would have continued to just be really lazy about really trying to figure out the analog stuff on the RetroTink 4K if it wasn't for this video topic. And it was right. a really good way for me to kind of dive into the RetroTink 4K 
analog stuff, so our trial by fire, and mm-hmm. like, okay, and then the more I realize, like, okay, there's these different ways I can I can represent the pixels in this video, and the results are going to be different depending on which mm-hmm. way I present them, and I sort of felt like, especially because like optimized sampling looks really stupid in my opinion for the unmodified system so like i kind of mm-hmm. had to explain what phase was because I, I i show why i don't use optimize on the unmodified system and right. i show why i think optimized or generic is good for the the modified systems or the one chips so mm-hmm. sometimes in comparisons and, and l- later in the video, after I talk about the sampling, I like label them, you know, optimized or generic. But like, I kind of wanted to explain why sometimes the the one chips and the modded system are optimized. Sometimes they're generic, and why the unmodified system is always generic because I think it just looks stupid optimized. Yeah, so, I mean, we use so that was generic, why I wanted to explain. For, like we we use generic all the way through on the uh, on the five X. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm actually using generic, uh, tonight. Uh, just, mm-hmm. just I, I think especially for, for streams, it just makes things easier. Um, you know, uh, yeah. so, uh, anyway, so I do have it on screen here, here, here as, as represented in the game screen itself is, is the Neji con. Yeah. And you can actually see it like twist as I twist it, which is kind of, yeah. kind of neat. Uh, so yeah, I like, I like type C. I, I want to, to go into this menu before starting because, um, so there's like this little calibration thing. And when I, I, so I played this on Friday. Untwisted. Huh? Position. The untwisted position. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I played it on, I played on Friday cause I wanted to test it. And then I was just like, man, I, I had a lot of fun with the game. Um, uh, hmm. and so I was like, oh, I'll, I'll stream it. Yeah. Um, I had it set like this, but every once in a while there would be a slight, not often, but I would notice like a slight drift when I had no dead zone, I guess is what this was essentially. Um, mm-hmm. although I, like, I was kind of like thinking like, well, in a real car, like if you weren't turning the steering wheel, there would be a little drift. Right. So I don't, but so I don't know. I, I I'm going to try that. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to try that this, this layout and, and hopefully, hopefully it'll, It'll, it'll go fine. It'll be, it'll be fun. Yeah, you know, like I don't have one of these, but I've thought about it like many, many times. Right. And, you know, I was looking and there, there's a black one they had and, and uh, apparently like later white ones have different shoulder buttons. I assume later ones. Yeah. Uh, have really different clear. shoulder buttons than what you have. Uh, so like, I think I might end up getting a black one. Plus it's, it's very hard to find a white one that isn't like filthy. <laughs> for a good price My, yeah, i feel mine, like most of them i, I guess i like, got lucky mine mine's in really nice shape like um, most of them look like they had been like you know dragged around behind a car or something like that <laughs> well so the, the i know you gotta catch up on super chats but uh just before i get into the game here so what what i did initially i i didn't notice where it says tuning normal tuning easy tuning expert and tuning hard on these different GPs. I did this normal one, the Japan team. I did this on Friday. Like I was just really testing out the game Mm -hmm. and that was like doing better than I thought I would. Um, so I just kept playing it. I finished this. So like, it seems to me that like finishing these four grand prix would be like beating the game. I mean, you do get credits. But there's like a story mode, isn't there? It or is, is that what yeah. The... I mean, it's, it's really short, but there's like four different stories, like depending on which team right. you join. So oh, I, see. Okay. I got credits, so I could consider it beaten, but I thought like, well, I want to play more. So I'll see if how difficult it is for me to beat like all, yeah. all of these. Uh, so yeah. I'm going to do the French team. Cause that's the one that says easy. I, I didn't notice that previously. So I beat already beat the normal one, so we'll we'll we'll, we'll warm up with the easy one. Yeah, because I, I understand I just, like, I what they're do doing with the fonts, but like the fact that the uh, like the Y and the G can't go below the other letters, like lowercase, like like the like the bottoms of it can't go. It's like 
really annoys me. Oh, like, well, like, like, I understand has, like, like that's a capital like, P. Yeah, yeah. Or they're, they're lowercase, that. but they're like on the same like baseline mm. as the other uh, letters. By the way, this, uh, all of this menu stuff is 480i and I don't really know yep. why, because it doesn't, it doesn't actually look. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's like just it's using any 480i elements. I mean, maybe it is, but it, lo Most I think of they it looks like 240p it like... stuff. I think that they probably just thought it looked cool is because Ridge Racer 4 came with the uh, the 480i version of the first game as well. So it just seemed like probably this and this came out very close, I think, to Tekken, Tekken 3, which is all 480i. Maybe they just thought like, you know, they just liked the look of it. Um, I, I'll, I'll try a drift type. I, I, I didn't do a lot of what I would consider drifting, certainly not when I was playing the other GP, certainly not drifting of the scale of, you know, what I was doing in Ridge Racer 7. I don't know if you can truly drift to that extent. I mean, the, the, it doesn't have like the nitrous system and stuff like that. Yeah. I'll you try this. Not. So I, I guess this is how you unlock cars for like the other modes in the game is like you, depending on how you perform in each of these storylines, like you unlock mm. cars you can use elsewhere in the game. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, okay, sorry so for rambling. You you need to no, catch up. I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry for holding you all up. Super it's, chat. There's only two, so it's that's not like I'm so far behind. Um, and plus, like you know, Bubba D Matt eight one two had a five dollars super chat thirteen minutes ago. But uh, Bubba D Matt said, uh, "Sorry, can't stick around. Got to clean up mess from supper. Made roasted chicken and cabbage uh, with Caesar dressing. Oh man, uh, trying to eat healthier. Yeah, uh, you know I mean." You and me both, buddy. <laughs> Except for uh, this week was was not great because it was, it was Wednesday was my son's birthday and it's just been ice cream cake and and brownies and this and that. But maybe I need to uh, make some roasted chicken and cabbage with Caesar dressing. Uh, but thank you. Uh, there's also five dollars from uh, Roughhausen by Proxy. Love that name. <laughs> and I, you know, I, 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 I roughhouse with with my dog Nelly a lot. I, <laughs> I always call her roughhousing. Um, with five dollars, thank you. Thank you. Saying I still play my Sega Genesis with RF with the RF adapter because I'm a sicko. I get it. I get it. Um, I got one of those um, composite to RF. Uh, transcoders if that is that what it, i don't know if that'd be considered a transcoder uh from uh, mr add-ons from pork chop i shouldn't like get that hooked up and just try to use it I, that, now that i I've tr i'm trying this this slight dead zone i don't i don't know if i i don't know if i like that as much <laughs> uh i might i might want to go back to the no dead zone Um, there's and James Boone has been a member for 29 months. Uh, awesome. Saying late to the stream, R4 grip grip cars with the uh, Nejicon is almost like a cheat code. Just tap the brakes at the start of a corner. Oh, <laughs> well maybe uh, maybe the next GP I'll try I'll try the grip time. Um, yeah, you know I. Mm, I th I think I'm I think I'm gonna go back and change to that no dead zone. Okay. Yeah. And they do give you save points multiple times over the course of the GP. Uh, you know, I saw someone earlier commenting that this you know kind of has like the best style and best music of of the Ridge Racer games, and mm -hmm. I, I I mean. From what of what I have played, I, I agree. Like I was really, I was really surprised, uh, just like how different the, um, just the, the overall vibe was uh, compared right. to uh, compared to seven. Like, and I've seen like I, I have seen a sentiment here and there online, like oh Ridge Racer four was like the last good Ridge Racer. Like, and I think it was like just 
like the personality I think I, of the game. And yeah, I yeah. love though the gameplay of like I think it was the the PSP one that um. I, th I, th I think it was the, um, I think it was the PSP one. Uh, wasn't like the first I'd ever played, but the first, like I played a decent bit of, and that was, you know, I think the first one with the nitrous system. Um, so, yeah, I so, mean, I've, I've seen a lot of people I, I say the game play of those. is five. Huh? I've seen a lot of people say their favorite is five. Yeah, uh, I've, I've seen that too. I mean, I've, I think a lot of people are 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 split over the different. Because I think that one kind of goes back to, like the very the more simplified, uh, like campaign. I guess. I, I mean, one thing that's interesting, like I, you know, some people said, like you know, I I, I saw at least one comment on uh, the games we played saying Ridge Racer Seven is soulless, you know, compared to like the PS One games. Like, you know, it, you know, here you do have like these characters. You've also got like people yeah. like actually standing on the tracks, uh, you know, before the race starts. Also, mm -hmm. I don't know if there's an option, but it seems like it always starts you in first person view at the start of a race, which is annoying. But. You know, I used to have a, when this game came out, I got a t-shirt of it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, and I feel like I found it, and then I don't know where it is again, like or if it's like completely gone now. But I had it was like a, a blue, it was like a dark, like a navy blue, t-shirt. I, I I gotta be honest, I but don't I, love like Rieko, all of the weird. Uh, that Rieko Nagase was on it, you know, like from the cover of the game. Oh yeah, I I, I gotta say I don't love like the weird naming schemes of the early Ridge Racer games. Yeah, like yeah, well, I, I didn't even realize until like not that many years ago that Rage Racer was like Ridge Racer three and not a parody game. Yeah, like like because you know like it, there it, were parody games in that era. Like right. remember like Mist had had pissed, P Y S T. Yeah, yeah. Like that like parody games were a thing back then. So yeah. like I thought like oh. Rage Racer is like a Ridge Racer parody game. No, Rage Racer is just Ridge Racer. Yeah. For some reason. And this is, this is R4 a, Ridge Racer type the, the Ridge, Ridge Racer, was it Ridge, Ridge Racer Evolution? Uh, or is it, um, is it like R Revolution or R something Ridge, like that? Ridge, Ridge Racer Revolution, they tried to you mean make it... the second game, right? No, no, no. There's like there was like the um, the one that was like on 360 and and uh, I thought I thought that was just PS3. called. I it's thought our like revolution or something like that. I, thought, I mean, I thought on 360 it's Ridge Racer Six and on PS3 it's Ridge Racer. 6. Is there another? Is there another PS3 game? I'm, I'm, I'm not... Yeah. Okay. So it's Evolution. Yeah. It's like our evol like Ridge Racer Evolution. It's like a real. It's more realistic. Uh... Oh, I mean, yeah, I'm sure I, I saw it in John's video, but I just kind of forgot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, no, it's uh, our racing evolution. Oh, okay. And it's, uh, it's with, more realistic. With this drift type car, I can definitely understand it's, a little bit. It's the bit Bomberman more, X Zero. A little bit more series. how you can how you can kind of drift. Yeah. But. It doesn't uh, seem to be as essential as it is in like the later games where you have the nitro system. <laughs> uh, there was ten dollars from Charles Fairchild. Thank you. Thank you. Saying, uh, "Heart, the intro to our forest forever burned into my memory." Uh, playing this game on PS One and got a PS Classic just for it. Fun oh. fact: the characters in between levels have different dialogue based on how you finish. Yeah, yeah, and like you actually. Depending on how you finish, oh, like you'll oh. get a different car from uh, be between races and between or between heats, I guess. So like, yeah. so it, it actually seems to be worth playing each story like more than once. I mean, they're not that long. I mean, you can see it's just like uh, like nine levels, I think. Th this music is like 
during these conversation scenes is just like straight up persona. Like, I, I like in general, the music like has a very similar vibe to the persona games, or at least the ones that I guess three onwards. I don't really know a lot about the music in the, um, uh, I'll know a lot about the music in the, um, in the, in the first two games. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, uh, but thank you, uh, uh, Charles Fairchild. Thank you. Um, so I'm looking at different uh, Neji cons now. Um, does anybody know if there's the like outside of the uh, the shoulder buttons? If there's any real reason to like, is there any advantage of the uh, the black one? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, you know, looking at it, like, I couldn't really tell you whether, like, it almost looks like, like this, see, the, the R, the R and L buttons are like on a hinge, see, you know, yeah. where it's, as you would expect. I think it's just the shape of them, just, right, but I have wonder if the curtain. others are on a hinge or if they like actually depress like downwards. Yeah. Like more like a GameCube one. Right. The black one is the most updated version. Okay. I, I'm also curious. Or in the like, red syrup, who has? I don't know if that if that stack of pancakes, that fat stack of pancakes, is like in your username, and if it is, that's amazing. <laughs> did, did that fat stack of pancakes come from a wagon full of pancakes? Some, yeah, fat stack of pancakes. Um, but anyway, like anyone who has this, at least the white version that I have, um. The, the R button has like a GameCube-esque click at the bottom. Yeah. Which, at least in, in this game, doesn't seem significant. Um, but the L button does not have like a click at the bottom. I just want to make sure that like that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> I, I love that fin on the back of your car. Like, Oh, yeah. It, 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 it looks obnoxious to me. Like does, does Which is that why help? you love it. I, you love I it doubt it's it. Obnoxious. Yeah. Well, like I, you know, I like I love like the sky gradient here. Like this game does have just like just a really good sense of style and good use yeah. of color, and the, the music is just like really like like the music in this game is like something I would listen to outside of the game, and Ridge Racer Sevens I would say it's not. Not that it was not that there was anything wrong with it, but it's just like. I, I like the style of music in this game a lot more. Yeah. In a lot of ways, I, I, I always felt that this game was the culmination of everything that Namco learned from this generation. Mm. I mean, you know, it's, a, it's, a late, I, it's a pretty late game, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, very, very late. So I just felt like it... Uh, you know, probably one of their last games for the generation on that system, on the PS1. And you know, Other that, than and like they were that that, well, that that the Klonoa volleyball or whatever. Yeah, well, well, probably not their A team or... though. No. Um. So the the way that I like when I was like first, you know, kind of using this, the the way that I kind of think about it is like you push forward with your with your right hand to turn uh, to turn right and you push forward with your left hand to turn left. Because I wasn't really sure like, okay, which which tw twisting which way is going to be left and which one's going to be right. Like I didn't, like intuitively I just didn't know, you know? Yeah. Uh, Rally Lancer with $2 wanted to let me know has anyone told Corey that he looks like uh, Michael Stipe and maybe to an extent I mean it's certainly not intentional but he is like R.E.M. is my favorite band of all time if that if that if you didn't know that already so I will I will, I will take that comparison <laughs> um, and uh, Kaylee Gamer like is saying that the uh, Nejikon looks I, I assume you're assuming you're saying that the uh, Nejikon kind of looks like a whale tail. 
the way the, the whale tail. And, yeah, and, and you want me to search it up, and I, I know, I know what you're trying to do there. By getting me to search that up, and uh, maybe, maybe after the stream. But I'm looking through and seeing what there is here. Um, there's a lot of boxed ones of this one, and it, I, it just helps that. Uh, that it's not white, so it doesn't look filthy. It doesn't look like it was, um, you know, dropped in. You know, I'm, a mud I mean, box. mine is mine is darn near mint. I would say, honestly. Yeah. So. Uh, BBA nine thirty five. What is my favorite IRS Records era album uh, from REM? Uh, Life Search Pageant is my favorite. Without a doubt. But before the end of the stream, I will buy one of these. Before the end of the stream. Before the end of the stream. There, there's for seventy. That's twenty five dollars shipping. I mean, they're they're roughly between like sixty to seventy dollars. It looks like. But some of them do have a box, and you know, I would buy one with the box. I mean, you would you would get that box. Did yours come with the box? <laughs> I mean, how, no, it didn't. Like how? I mean, how much more are the ones with the box? I, well, I this one. Huh? This one is eighty dollars, but it comes with the box, all the documentation, and a copy of uh, Ridge Racer Revolution, the Japanese Ridge Racer Revolution. Oh, that's kind of cool. I yeah, mean, I bet that's a cheap game, but I'm sorry, it's Rage Racer. Sorry, that's that's still pretty neat, but yeah, I, I, I bet that's a really cheap game. Like, I don't have, I don't have. Th this is actually the. I do have the bonus disc that came with this, which I couldn't like, I was not able to start the game using the Nejicon. Like, I don't know if I like, if I get into it, if it works, but I thought it would work with that. Yeah. That's weird that it wouldn't. Yeah. I was. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's kind of a cool version. It has like the, yeah, it's just the first game. It's, it's 60 in, FPS 480i. Yeah. Yeah, Which is I, another way for, you know, the show, like, oh, you know, look at how far we've come. Mm -hmm. You know, like, they're, like, one of their first games, if not their first game for the generation on that system. And then then that. Like, it's just kind of a cool way. It's it's making the first Ridge Racer, like, uh, like bookends on the, uh, yeah. the system. It's kind of neat. Yeah, what, what the, when you get the new costume and why you're not wearing it like that was my my son's chicken nugget i'm i'm not gonna fit in that thing like <laughs> i'm gonna probably fit one of my legs in it i i love how the the transition from like the car like backing out of the truck and then it like transitions into the menu like seamlessly it's definitely yeah. a very good presentation oh that's right you know it's uh namco just released tekken 8 But when what what could. have they done another? What was the last Ridge Racer game? Like the last what, real what, one what, is seven? seven. The last real one is seven, I think. Yeah, which is really sad. I mean, may, there might like maybe the second PSP one could have come after that. I'm I'm not sure actually which. Uh, which yeah, game. well, yeah, yeah, the Vita one definitely did. Which is also a great looking game. And it is expensive, I think. That Vita version. Unbounded. Um, Rally Lancer, my favorite REM album is uh, New Adventures in High Five. Which, I don't know if that's a controversial pick. But uh, it certainly is my favorite one out of all of them. Oh, I, I know the answer to Dad 1153's question. I know Corey's answer. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ever, Dad 1153 is $5. Ever felt like uh, effing with your viewers who also watch NFL football by streaming a football game? If you did. Uh, which digital pigskin would you play? Uh, Madden 92, 100% of the time. 
Uh, if you ask me, Madden 92 is the only football game I need in my life. <laughs> I, 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 I would... Uh... <laughs> I, I, I would probably, you know, I, I bought, you know, I, in the past year, I, I switched, uh, I, I finally got, uh, for my two main N64s, uh, you know, region free trades, but, uh, from, uh, from laser Bear. Oh but, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I just I took a Dremel and cut, cut off like the little tabs in it. No, 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 no. I, 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 I bought, I bought them from Laser Bear, but mm. I, um, uh, for a long time, like I, I eventually had to do it just because I, I started getting way too many imported in sixty four games. But like for a while, what I was doing was I was just getting like cheap sports games that were in good condition, and, uh, and just you know swapping the back plates. Mm-hmm. So yes. I do have a you know a couple of N64 Maddens uh, because of that. Not in my collection, but just like sitting in what well, amounts to a parts shelf. <laughs> Technically, the ROMs, the actual real ROM exists in my house. Also, I think uh, you know that uh, that that uh, cartridge that I like really screwed up for. Um, for uh, the bad ending video for, on the backloggery stream. Oh, yeah, yeah. The one that I like made look like, you know, it was all burned and crap. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a football game. It's not It's not Tecmo Bowl. It's another football game. Uh, there is a $10 from CR Tinkering. CRT Tinkering. Ooh. Thing is, anybody told try he sounds just like a young Tom Hanks. I don't think he's ever heard that one. No, I I, I hear that all the time. But I guess yeah, you, I guess we're all getting older now because people used to just say Tom Hanks, but now Tom Hanks is old. So <laughs> I guess people yeah. say young Tom Hanks instead of just Tom. Yeah. Hanks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there was they, someone... they want you to say there's either uh, there's no crying in baseball. <laughs> or uh, there's a snake in my boot. Wait, no crying in baseball. That was that's not Tom that's, Hanks, is it? Yeah, it is. That's a, that's a, in a, a a league of their own. You know, I saw that movie like as a kid. It's good. And I don't rem- I don't remember it very well, but I I do not remember Tom Hanks being in it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. it's good. It's a good movie. They they uh, they had a TV show of it, and a TV show adaptation on on Amazon Prime, like either a couple of years ago or a year ago or something like that. You know, th- there was a there was a comment. Uh, I don't remember. Well, what you, you gotta say either. Can you you can see say that or say either say there's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball. Or there's a snake in my boot, which I'm not sure. There's a snake in my boot. Okay, there we go. (laughs) Oh, you you know, there was a there was a comment. There was a comment just I think it was like the last comment on the channel before the release of the new video. Someone said something like, um, said, 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 try, try sounds like he smokes 40 packs of cigarettes a day now. It, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know where they get that. It'd be, it'd be funny if you're like, yeah. it's yeah, like, I, just, just, like, like, who, 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 th- who thinks yeah, I, that I don't, about my voice? Mm, yeah i mean i probably adapted my delivery like i don't know they were saying like i i i'm like trying to try to like deepen my voice intentionally or something like that and like yeah you I'm should sure do my it deli- in that like voice. my overall like delivery <laughs> and, and enunciation you know not during stream so much but like presenting videos like yeah. I, you know i do have like you know, I'm not good at speaking off the cuff, so I do have like a certain tone that I use 
to present videos, I guess. And I, I would say that has evolved and, and hopefully most people would say improved. I don't think that evolution sounds like 40 packs of cigarettes a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there was a a comment from uh, from from Rory McGurdy, and oh. this is I feel like this could be like a stream long thing. Uh -oh. uh, so let's just kind of put this out out into the universe, and we're gonna figure this out, okay? Okay. The we're, uh, Rory McGurdy wanted to know what the top ten best looking PS One games are. Uh, so we are gonna come up with a definitive list. The but... definitive <laughs> list. Yeah. I mean, this, I mean, this game There's is probably no, one no of them. questions are required and i these i these are the top 10 but i don't know if they can be in an order maybe we get 10 and then we decide mm. what the order is okay so if people have suggestions please just throw them out there and i will uh we will um discuss it but i i, I first i'm going to say you know i'm going to say tekken 3 right off the bat yeah tekken 3 is really good looking um yeah I mean, uh metal gear solid i don't know like yeah. i don't know if metal gear solid like is is super impressed i mean, i don't know what about chrono cross uh yeah i I put chrono cross on there i mean i mean the 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 background style is nothing else right like that's just yeah. like the just the very you know sort of painted look to the backgrounds. Um, Chrono Cross isn't super impressive either. I mean, it's yeah. I mean, it, it, I if think I got, it is. Yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, you if know, we're talking. Not, I, sound. I think Chrono Cross actually. Really we're the best sounding games on the PS One, and I think Chrono, Chrono Cross would be up there. Well, yeah, for sure. But I think look, I saw someone mention Mega Man Legends, which. Or really, Legends Two would be would probably be the one that you would uh, that you'd put on there. But, uh, but yeah, I, I think Mega Man Legends Vagrant Two story. should be on. There. Did you put Legends Two on the list? No, I can though. You, you should. I'm thinking people saying uh, 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 a lot of people were saying Vagrant Story, and. You know, like, I feel as though I've not played far enough in that to see really what happens because, you know, like, I think that a lot of people play it, probably play the intro and that's it. I, I, I only played a couple hours into it. I would be really curious what, like, comes after that stuff. I have no idea what happens. Does it I all mean, take place in the castle, like, over, like, during the course of one night? I don't know. I mean, it. I mean, aren't you like ba basically like pretty quick into the sewers in that game? Yeah, it opens like in the sewers. Yeah. Like when you get control, you're in I don't remember getting sewer. out of the sewers. I mean, this was a long, time, long, long time ago. I, I don't, I don't remember getting out of the sewers. Um, oh, I'd, I'd say Soul Edge is up there. Soul Edge is a very good. Really, I, I, I mean, but I mean. One of these might have to go, uh, you know, because I, I feel I, Tekken 3 is more impressive than than Soul Edge. I mean, I, yeah, I, I would say for sure. I mean, it's been a long time. I actually got Soul Edge last year, but I have not booted it up since getting it. I, I played a little bit of it back in the day on my cousin's system, but... I would have to see it again to really know, like, because like in my mind, like Soul Calibur was when that series started looking so good. Yeah, uh, I don't because that was that's like the first time that I can think of where the the console version was so much better than the arcade game. Mm. You know, it is that was like for a lot of people, I think that was the moment where the home versions like surpassed what you play in the arcade. What about uh what about Soul Reaver? Uh maybe that's that's another game that I've not played very far into, but I don't know if it this oh, it's it's, it's, it's yeah, I mean I guess it's it's good looking. 
Uh, it's too bad it's only really half a game. Uh, do uh, do. How about Crash Three? Yeah, Crash Three is really good looking. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. Oh, uh, what about um? Uh, I mean, Warped. Sp Spyro Three is probably up there too. Yeah, some people said Spyro Three is it? Is that Year of the Dragon? Yeah. What about um, something like Suikoden 2? What is it? Suikoden 2. Uh, I don't know. I like, is I'm there a better looking out. 2D game on the system than that? Um, hmm. I saw somebody mention Harmful Park, which is a very good looking 2D game. That's a shooter that never released in the US, though. Lunger is very nice looking. I'll give it that. Yeah. I mean, Symphony, so much of Symphony of the Night, though, is based on, like, PC Engine graphics. That's why the game is 256 pixels wide, because it borrows some things or adapts some elements, some, some monsters and stuff from Rondo of Blood. I see some people Looks saying great, that. Though. I see Wipeout 3 mentioned. You know, now that I have the Nejicon, like that's probably that's probably like the it's actually surprising that it supports it since it's not a Namco game. Um But I could I could see myself like I've I've never I've never quite been able to gel with Wipeout. But like the Nejicon con makes me be like, okay, I need to get that now. Yeah. Do you have Wipeout on on the PS4? No. You you know I just I I've been installing some games on my PS5 lately, and uh, I installed that one. That game is just it's so so good looking. It is such a good looking game. Like those new versions. Like ever since like the one that came out on the PS3. No. They've been incredible looking. So I'll, I'll go ahead and put Wipeout 3 on, on here. Yeah, I'm sure. Is like, Wipeout 3 I, I, better I know than, than Wipeout XL? Is a, I remember Atari Fuzz saying, I remember the Army games looking good, but I haven't played them in years. Uh, I mean, uh. <laughs> yeah, those, those Army Men games. Mm. Rem remember that when there was like yeah. there was four like... or five came out every single year? Yeah. And the only good one that ever got decent reviews was that one called Portal Runner. Yeah, I <laughs> I, I did boot one of those up on N sixty four, like on a. Off the, it might it might have been the I don't know if it was in a, like off of an EverDrive or if it was that stream where I was trying out stuff on the N sixty four Mister Core. Uh, I don't know. Mr. Dot saying Sarge is heroes. There's just so many. That car looks so stupid. Like It just it looks like it. Does it? I don't know. I kind of like it. It's it's really I ridiculous feel, looking, like, but it, I think I it's kind of cool. Kinda, uh, it almost looks like a like a spaceship. I, yeah, so kind of cool. Yeah, it's it's got a weird spoiler, I guess. Silent Luckily, it, it's kind of surprising, but they give you um, they give you a, a a save point right before the final race, in the in the last heat. Oh, they do. Yeah, that's nice. They basically give you one, I guess, every two races. See, she says she couldn't increase our budget as much as I wanted to. I got first place on the pre the previous race but the race before that I got second so that she said she was able to guess a new car but um but not the best that she could have got yeah uh so I kind of did some, some fun stuff like the last couple days <laughs> on on Friday night uh we were like upstairs and my wife was watching something on TV and my 
uh, my son has been playing like a Switch a bit, so I got my Switch, and I brought up a stack of like eight Switch games, and I said, I haven't played any of these. Yeah. Let's just let's just try them out. Okay. So we just like played a bunch of like random games, and like like uh, crab like what is it crab fight? Oh yeah, fight fight crab. Fight crab. Sorry. Yeah. Do yeah, you fight like crab? crab? Yeah, and uh, I ended up playing all the way through Donut County on the oh, yeah, Burner Collection. I saw on How Long to Beat that that's pretty short. Yeah, it's like an hour long. I, I've, I've been thinking about... Uh, and Please maybe, Save Me, Mr. Taco. Huh? It's some game called Please, please oh, Save Me, Mr. Taco. Yeah, that's like it's like kind of like a Game Boy graphics platformer, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, um... I've been thinking about I've been thinking about taking that Annapurna collection for the for the flight to and from Germany and seeing if I could just like beat a bunch of those games. Because I bet mm. I bet most well, of them were like two or three hours. Listen, if you're if you're gonna play Sign on Royal Hearts, I, don't, I I have no idea if you're even gonna. Like it. Oh yeah, I need to play that on good good sound system. I yeah, I like I don't even know if that's something that is you're gonna like connect with like the same way that I did uh, but you know I just replayed it again the other other day and man there's just like something about that game it just like it makes <laughs> I made like a big Twitter post about it saying it like it like no other game makes me feel like that like I it like gives me like that um, I don't know just kind of like well up like I like like it almost makes me like want to cry <laughs> I don't know why uh, I mean, I like I know why, but it's just like it's such a like an experience. Uh, but it is, it's it's still just as is good, if not know, better than the Kirby first time. Kirby makes me feel like crying, so <laughs> I there think our go. threshold for what makes us feel like crying is different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's like kind of gives you like that, uh, like that, like that knot in your, mm. in like like in in your throat. We're just like. Ugh. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's such, uh, such a good, such, such a good game. And it's like really just an hour, uh, it's an hour long. And you know, what's funny is, so I got a copy of that on that Annapurna collection. And, uh, I just like, I gave my original one to like a coworker. Mm. He like came up during a meeting and I'm like, oh, uh, you know, uh, Dustin, who's been on the, on the chat like on the on the stream with us a couple times said um oh you should play this and i'm like i have an extra copy i'm going to send it to you so i'm like if i'm gonna i'm just gonna give this to you uh i'm not gonna tell you anything about it i, I we just think you'd like it so check it out a uh, voltar's in the chat saying uh cordy remember when time when you were in my lab and i fixed your n64 and it started to snow exactly at midnight and we cried yes uh i do remember uh, the snow slight, like just hitting my face perfectly, uh, <laughs> along with a tear, <laughs> and they both c combined into one singular droplet of water. And for just a moment, I felt like I was I was gonna live forever. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, really nice. the Colossus made me cry when I was 10 and again at 27. Like, I'll, uh, I'll tell you, like, Mario and Kirby games are, like, the things that, like, make me feel, like, the most emotional. And, like, hmm. it's, it's like it's something, it's like, it's like the, like, I sort of explained it in the, my little little bit of Kirby in the Forgotten Land uh, in the games mm -hmm. we played in 2022. But it's like, it's it's like almost this like temporal whiplash. Like where it like uh, it, I don't know what it means. Where like the, the game is like like when it like hits so hard on like what I wanted these games to be when I was a kid and you know Mario and Kirby have often been pretty on point 
uh, you know, with their presentation and stuff, and like just when, when, when like, like something about that just like gives me this like feeling like I'm a kid again, and like that feeling makes tears come to my eyes, and and nothing mm-hmm. does that like Mario and Kirby games <laughs> for me. Yeah, I get, I get it, I get it. You know, there's, it's very. It's it's very uh, few and like it doesn't happen as much as they used to. For me, like a lot of times, the things that would get me were in sequels to games that I really liked, and uh, like references to the previous game. Mm-hmm. Um, like like Lunar Two definitely does. You know, just certain references certain characters make and stuff like that uh, is this the stuff that. You know, still gives me goosebumps like it did originally. And if you didn't hear it, uh, you should check, uh, listen to the uh, the most recent episode of the uh, the Retro Hangover podcast talking about Lunar Two. That I got to do. Uh, Aruminado, you should definitely uh, play that Anna collection. You know. Just even if it's just sign our wild hearts, it's just such a good game. Uh, yeah, Voltar is it going to take very much of your time? Two versus Lunar One on PS2. Uh, I will go Sega CD 100% of the way, and even more so now. Uh, having like recently revisited part of Lunar Two, I think that certain things in Lunar One and in, in the in Silver Star Story Complete. Uh, take away from the impact that uh, when they they come back up in Lunar Two, you know something I'm I'm curious about. Like, did the original version of Lunar One do more like world building, like early in the game? Because like you don't even like other than the fact that it's like depicted on the box and title screen. Like they never make a big deal out of like the way the world it like how there's the blue star and you're on the silver star. Like there's like a FMV with Luna singing on the boat. And like, that's mm-hmm. the first time you really ever see in game, like the blue star hanging above. Well, yes, and they, ex- they, like, exactly. never really... like none, of, none of the blue star, the blue star is like never really referenced in that. Original. Right. Like, it's just like, it's like, it's, it's, it's just like, the moon to us, like we don't really think about it. Like it's not a big deal. The moon, you know, is is rarely a major plot device uh, in our day to day lives. <laughs> right. Which is there, it's just in the background. So I mean, like part of me likes the idea that like they don't make a big deal out of it because like to those characters, they, it's just a thing they don't think about. But it, it also yeah. feels like there's so much though that like to the world. That is not going to come up until the second. Like so much about. Right. Well, I mean, the world and why really it is the way it is, and what the blue star is, and what the silver star is. I mean, my impression. I mean, don't necessarily confirm or deny, but my I, I, just the way that when you get to like the frontier in Lunar One, like it definitely seems that they are depicting. They're depicting it as. The Silver Star used to basically be what our moon is. Yes. And then the, you know, the goddess, wherever she came from, unknown to me at this point, um, uh, she, you know, made it like Earth, or at least most of yeah. it. Right. Yes. But, I but, just, they, but I that's just... not really part of like, they don't, they don't really seem to think they don't, they don't really seem to think about it in that way. The characters in the game. Right. Yeah, yeah. I just think there's certain things that happen in Lunar 2 that don't happen in the original version of Lunar 1. So it has more impact when it happens in Lunar 2. And there's certain aspects of things that happen in Silver Star Story that, I don't know, give more context to what happens in 
Lunar 2, but takes away from the impact of it. Mm. Doesn't it doesn't feel as special when well, certain things happen. We'll we'll see it, what, like, how I, I, I feel about it when I when I get to it and uh yeah. and then you'll be able to tell me like the difference in how they present it. Yeah. Well, I mean you'll yeah. Exactly. Um so, uh, you know, you, you finished your first game on your list. I'm, like, progressing uh, through Yakuza 4. And it, it kind of got me back to playing it recently because, like, since since 8 just came out. Right, right. I mean, didn't didn't you say before that you, you now that you've played, you kind of feel like 4 is, like, where they really figured it out? Oh, absolutely. I think that they really... Uh, they they stepped up the uh, like not only the like the world building, but also just like how they handle a narrative, where there's like certain aspects from previous games, uh, or characters that um, are kind of like on the periphery or just like people you meet like on the street and this and that like in like one two and three that you get more of a backstory to them because of the way that they. Uh, interact with characters that you play as. Mm -hmm. So you kind of see these different aspects of the world. Right. Because um, it's, it's, you know, there's four characters. Uh, I'm on the third character right now. Um, I'm pretty sure that I, I don't know. I don't know, like, how it's going to bring it all back around. Um, but yeah, I like, three was just them kind of figuring out how to do this stuff in HD, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's it's pretty like by the book, I think. Uh, but here with four, they really just figured out how to how how like to make Yakuza into what it is now, I think. Uh, the just the step up in in like the context you have in the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, is you know just uh, John uh, John it, linked me not. to uh, he, he said you sent it to him that that clip in the new the new game where there's like mm -hmm. a radio host like having a conversation about about the Shenmue guy yeah yeah about uh, uh, Rio yeah Rio yeah yeah, yeah. About, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty but funny. I mean hearing that I'm like ugh like it makes me not want to. Uh, listen to the English voices. I'm sure they're fine, but one of the things I enjoy about the uh, like you know, you know, using the Japanese voices is just how much more immersive it is. Immersive it is. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, it takes place in Hawaii, though, right? So, I mean, there could be some places where English would make sense. Like, I would assume Wait, that if he was listening to local radio, I was assuming it was in English. Like, I, I didn't even think, I didn't even think about that. I oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think about it. But I think they're in Japan in, in this, in that part. Oh. Like, they're not, I don't I think mean, the whole I mean, I'm pretty there. sure Hawaii has, like, a pretty significant Japanese population, but, I mean, I, you know, yeah, I, 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 I don't generally, think the whole I mean, since place. it was radio, I was like, oh, well, it makes sense that it's in English. I, I didn't even think about it. Like, until yeah. you just now said that. Uh, Mr. Dot saying, uh, I bought Lunar 1 and 2, and 2 Silver and Blue, both complete for PS1, like, 18 years ago. I plan to play through them. Maybe I should have not given my, given try my Sega CD game. He didn't give you your Sega, the Sega CD versions, did he? No, I don't have Mr. any Sega CD. I, have I didn't give try. But I didn't give try Lunar CD games. Okay, so you give them to somebody else. Ah. <laughs> well, luckily you can just burn them if you wanted to. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, I gotta be honest. Like, I've a few times recently here, especially because, like, most recently, like, I, I had, um, I had my Genesis like unhooked and like not even in this room because, like, I, I had like my NES, my Famicom, and my Genesis all like out of the room when I was working on this um, 
I was working on this Super Nintendo video because I was like unplugging, like, <laughs> like that whole <laughs> corner of my cabinet was taken up with Super Nintendos. <laughs> and I was like unplugging the different ones and stuff. Yeah. Um, and like, you know, I've thought several times recently and, and just now, like, in fact, I don't even have like a power cord run for the Sega CD right now. Like, like I, I like part of me is almost like, man, like maybe I, maybe I should just like not even have the Sega CD. Here. Like I, I, like I don't, I, I don't enjoy using the Sega CD. It needs recapping anyway. And like, I, I'm like always worried about like, you know, if it's even going to work. Like, like Se Sega CD is, is, is a system that I like, I'm completely okay with the idea of just, just playing Sega CD games on Mr. Mm -hmm. uh, so there was a uh, $10 from EB chill too. Thank you. Saying Voltar, Mike Chi and my life and gaming are the best at what they do. I hope to watch all your successes for a long time. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't mean... Maybe 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 the we're... best at talking way too long about things that 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 could 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 be said in just in, in a fifth of the time, like what <laughs> I just now said. I could have said that in a fifth of the time. You know, that's that's in contrast to uh, a held for review comment, a potentially offensive held for review. Uh, comment on the analog duo that I saw earlier. Usually, like if something is unless it's like particularly egregious, I will, you know, put everything. Like I will prove it, even if it's, you know, uh, you know, has has some language in it. Uh, but this person said, uh, "F this channel. I hope you all go down soon. <laughs> Shit content." <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know. Yeah, I just think it's really funny. I hope I hope you all go down soon. It's like it's like it's like this, this is clogging up my airwaves. Yes. <laughs> that's on the uh, that's on the the analog duo episode. I just, I just think it's funny. It's like I hope you go down soon. <laughs> <laughs> that that person doesn't think that uh we're the we're the best at what we do <laughs> Are you using your uh your mem card pro with this no this is just a regular memory card i i i mostly use the Mostly use the mem card pro with my X station unit downstairs. Yeah. I mean, this is just, this is a totally on, this is my original PS one, completely unmodified, unserviced playing the actual disc, mm -hmm. regular memory card. I mean, something I don't like, cause I've only really used the, um, I've only really used the mem card pro with X station. Like, how big of a pain in the butt is it to use with games like disc games? Like, you probably don't really, you probably don't really use it with disc games either, because you mostly use your X station. Well, I, I gotta, I, you know, because they're so much, they're so cheap now. I ended up getting a second one because it was like they're like thirty dollars now. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I keep forgetting how much they brought the cost down. So I use one with with the X station, but I also have one on the other system. If I need to use it for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, I think that's okay. I, I, I just did it cause it was, it was cheaper. I probably didn't need to. So, so you, wait, you, you did that to use with non X station. Well, the reason I ended up getting it is because I really wanted a gray one to like be the same color as as it as the uh, as the PS One or the I see. And uh, 
if I could go back in time, I wouldn't do it now because I don't think that I really needed to. Uh, it was a moment of weakness. But, yeah. So, well, but, but I mean, so what is it like using it? Like, have you used it much with like disc games? Like it? Not really. And you can't use like the game ID stuff. Yeah. So how, do, the you, game ID, like, how do you find what you're looking for? Oh, yeah, I just you just have to go through, like hit the button on it where you can switch like the memory banks or whatever. I know, but uh, like, like normally that's just switching channels within. One uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, and I have more than that. Like, there's just I just haven't really used it. Like, it's just nice to have it for backup, I guess. Like that for stuff like that where I am not having per game, uh, you know, memory card files. It's just I like how easy it is to back it up. Yeah. I, I'm I'm gonna put it. like all my my lunar stuff on on our NAS when I remember to do it because oh, you should uh, just like put it, yeah put everything because like, I mean it's just I mean you could you could easily access almost any point in that version of the game with all the saves. Yeah. No, I mean not that we really would even need to at this point because well yeah because I record yeah, I basically it. recorded the whole game. Yeah. I mean, I interval before Right. I've been doing a thing where I've just been, like, booting up, like, ra random games again just to capture some stuff from it. Just and for fun? I don't, like, just, just for fun. You know, like, I had mentioned, I think, last week that I wanted to start doing these, like, one-hour streams each morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was very, very close to having done it, like, uh, on on Wednesday and Friday of this week. But I'm like, I, I just want to make sure I'm like ready to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I just, and I didn't. Uh, but I mean, I have everything like ready to do it. And it would like not even be like an on-camera thing. It's just, you know, playing a game and maybe I'll play like an hour of like a, a game that I've never played before and just capture footage from it. Or maybe it'll be, uh, doing a doing a Hades run or anything you know just whatever I feel like like doing you know just while I have my coffee like before I start my like regular work so. um, KCW1286 is asking if is the new remote for the tank 5x worth getting over the original I was thinking of getting one but I'm not sure uh I am gonna be a hundred percent honest with you I I make almost zero use of like all the handy shortcuts on the 4K remote. <laughs> like, yeah, I... Yeah, well, it same here. But at the same time, like, there's certain aspects. But, I, like, I I don't... If, if, if... I don't know how, like, super important it is, honestly. I, I... I actually... I would be totally happy with the 5X remote on the 4K. Like, I... I actually really like the 5X remote. Like I, I just, it's, it, I think it looks nice and it's simple. Like I just really like how simple it is. Like you're not like searching for buttons on it because there's not that many, right? Right. Um, well, I like it for the, the profiles. You know, assigning the yeah, profiles. Yeah, the profile, numbers. the profile is just like right there on the menu. So it's like not hard to access. But you know, device. like I like it because I have I have one, like our, the oh, basic. Oh, the quick select profiles. Yeah, yeah, just like one, two, and three. So like one that is, is nice. latest component, two is RGB, and three is HDMI. And that's just like our general generic ones, the ones that you made. Uh, that's just like what I use a lot of times. Yeah. So it's just, it's just nice if for some reason something is not, uh, like loses sync or something. So I just... Uh, it's nice to have it at a quick select there. <clears throat> Real Racing Roots 99. Yeah, I did it. But yeah, I mean, if if you don't feel like you uh, you're like chomping at the bit for it, I don't think it's you probably don't need it. 
as just another thing. I, I've actually, I, like, a, a few times in the past couple of days, I accidentally grabbed the 5X remote instead of the 4K remote. Either, so. You know, and, like, I, I kind of wish they were different colors. Well, they, I mean, they're radically di Oh, you mean if the, the new one? The new one. I yes. mean, the original ones are radically different. I shouldn't. I mean, I'm grabbing the five X remote out of habit, right? Right. Um, I see. It's not because they look the same. <laughs> it's like a Roku remote, kind of. Yeah, but I just I like I like how simple it is, honestly. Uh, so yesterday, I. I went to see that that new uh, studio uh, Ghibli Ghibli movie. Oh the, yeah, yeah. Boy, the boy and the heron. Yeah. And uh, I don't, I, I don't really know what the general consensus has been, but I didn't, I did not think it was very good. Oh yeah, and really? It, yes, I did. Uh, did not think it was very good. Uh, I'd be cons. Uh, curious if anybody else had seen it like like loved it or if they felt the same way as I did is that it had like real like pacing problems and uh, things just like I don't know like it's just uh, I mean Miyazaki probably doesn't care what anyone thinks he just does what he wants absolutely not absolutely not uh, but there's like one part of it where it goes from something happening two people talking and then it like cuts and that same character is like chained up with like no hint that this was even going to happen yeah. right and it's like never addressed and i'm like i was immediately this like I, I i don't know what the the modern equivalent would be to it but it seemed like it was missing a reel That, that's weird. I wonder if like something was cut around like for the localized version for some weird reason. I don't know. No, I mean it was it was subtitled, but it was uh, I don't I don't know I don't know what it was, and I was like, what is going on here? Um, and it was confusing for me, and I went with my son who was just like, I don't. I, I have no I like he was like as lo like as lost as I was. I mean has uh, he has he seen any uh Miyazaki movies previously? Yeah, yeah. Um I just I just like you know, I did I, I I went in without any like knowledge of even what it was about at all. And I don't it's just very slow paced at first and that which was fine. Um it's just like there's a lot of like weirdness to it that uh, was not addressed, and I just like, I don't know. It was it was just I just didn't think it was very good, and it 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 kind of it sucks like having to, to to say that. What do you think the pocket station support is for this game? Oh, um, I don't remember. I, I do remember seeing it though. It's just it's funny that you know they didn't remove it for for this. Yeah, well, I mean they didn't for Final Fantasy VIII either. Uh, but the the movie is uh, it's it's beautiful. It's a, it's a great looking movie all right let's see what happens on the italian team this is this is the hard mode yeah see uh anil uh, kapoor says heard it was an uh isekai anime and it, it it kind of is except for like the main character has no there's, like it's just like unfazed by what's happening <laughs> you know not like that it's uh 
weird or anything. It's just, it's, I don't know. It, it is what it is, but I was, I was not impressed. I was, I was kind of bummed out that it was, uh, was like that. Uh, Waldem uh, Espinoza is saying, I haven't seen it, but my wife has, and she said that it was weird, and my wife is Japanese. <laughs> All right, so I, someone said, someone, someone said that the Nejikon with a grip vehicle is like a cheat code. Yeah. Uh, I gotta find one of these to get here. So, uh... I've got two choices of grip type, so I don't know. T Tarazzi sounds like a sounds like an Italian brand. I'm on an Italian team choosing a Japanese manufacturer with a name that sounds Italian. <laughs> it's got weird. Um, it's interesting that this has, you know, has such so much more of a story aspect to it. Yeah, and like the lady in the French story mentioned Gilbert at some point, who is I think the guy that I was just now talking to. So there's like I think these like subtle connections. Like you kind of got to piece it all together, like how the Ridge Racer world is all connected. I guess it's very weird, though, that they had the uh, the story elements in here. They like left them all in, and then in uh, Ace Combat Three, they removed all the story elements. A Ace Combat Three. Yeah. Ace Combat 3 Electrosphere. So I, I, I thought I thought what everyone loved about Ace Combat was the story. Yeah, but I, like that's like after the fact, I think. With 3, the U.S. version removed all this. O only the U.S. Story. version? Yes. So the Japanese version oh. has the story. So it's like, it's like, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cyber There's like a translation stuff, a fan translation of the, the Japanese version. It's like what I think the Japanese version is like two discs. What's that? It's basically like what they did with Cybernate. Yes. But, you know, they, I think the Japanese version is, is two discs. And it's like, it's one disc here. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I wonder it's if that's the, really the main reason to just save on discs. Oh, 20, 25 Hertz to Life is saying, my voice has indeed changed. It sounds like I've been smoking 30 packs a day. Like <laughs> like some some sort of hypocrite. Uh have a magnificent plate. We got we got we got ten dollars Canadian from Buddy Scotch. Thank you. Thank Saying you. the PVM hunt continues. Uh, during the summer between semesters, I'm working at I'm working IT at a different university at, at university. And I heard they may have some have Samsung PVM cell things with RGB inputs. Anyone know in, in chat know about them? Uh, not, maybe it's I've one not of those. I've heard of Samsung like those LCD. Pro monitors, but I'm sure they made some. Yeah. They aren't as well known as like, I guess like, uh, you know, some of the other alternatives like Ikigami and JVC. I don't know if I've ever seen like a JVC in action. I've only ever yeah. seen Nikki Gami maybe once. Uh, wait, wait, when when are you going to Germany? Are you gonna? You're, so you're not gonna be here the 25th, correct? Correct. Of, of, okay, so there won't be a stream that night. I just realized tonight. Oh, you're you're not gonna be around at all. I'm I'm going to see Bit Brigade. They're playing locally. Oh, okay. Yeah, like go Drum, Drum, and, play... Drum and Lynn went went. Yeah. Uh, went to see them around here pretty recently too yeah i'm gonna go see them at the uh as uh, a southgate house revival hmm. uh, it should be kind of cool uh but it is on a sunday sunday the 25th um what 
uh, so they're like, I guess that's it's like a month from now, so it's neither here nor there. But but they're playing Zelda and uh, Castlevania. Ooh, nice. Uh, I'm taking a friend who's like never not familiar at all. So it'll be it'll be interesting to see. You know, like I, I don't I don't have a lot of chances to hang out with like I don't know like without without the kids like other 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 people that often I guess. Oh, Lindis is in the chat saying we saw him here in November. The, the opening act was Triforce Quartet. Uh, uh -huh. It was amazing. They were I feel like they were at Magvest when we were there too. But that's a ways off. It's like a month off. So, so that'll be one of the the two weeks I think that you're gone. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you only have to really come up with a backup plan for one stream. Yeah, I I don't know. I'll, I'll come up with something. I think it'll be fun. Maybe we'll do a, a live episode of Here's My Question for You. Maybe <laughs> that would actually be kind of cool. Yeah, maybe that's what, maybe that's what we'll do. I'm I'm not too sure yet what I think of the grip type car. It's, it's not a cheat. It's not a cheat code. Uh, I mean, I, I maybe I just gotta figure out the technique. I think whoever said that said something like you just gotta like tap the brake like once going into a, a corner or something. Maybe I'll I gotta I gotta hone in my technique. I guess yeah. I'm not uh, not quite nailing it. Oh, so this Wednesday, I'm finally getting getting my eye one of, like at least one of my eyes touched up. My oh, LASIK you're not up. doing both at the same time. Or they can't do both at the same time. I got to do one at a time to see uh, see what happens. Yeah. For some reason, I thought that was going to be like last week or something. Well, I went in and met with them on Monday okay. on Tuesday. I went in. and they scheduled it. And then I scheduled it for the 31st, and I realized, oh my god, that's that's Wednesday. So at 12:50, so we'll see. Play it sad. Well, the the LASIK, it, yeah, it didn't, it didn't. It's not that it didn't stick. It just, I don't know. It's just not as good as as I was hoping it would. Uh, but they made me wait a certain amount of time, and uh, you know, if it, if it, if it gets if it gets pretty good, you know, like after tweaking it, that's fine. But if it turns out that my lot in life is that I got to buy a pair of thirty dollar glasses one like every year, that's that's I'm totally fine with that. With a very like minimal uh, uh, prescription on it, and I can see most of the time when I don't have them on. But I just put them on when I want to. When I, it's very important that I see you know, everything. So well, I, it's it's okay. Like if it, if it turns out this is as good as it gets, it is not the end of the world. It's so better can, than what? It's better than how yeah. it was, where you were like unfunctional without anything, right? Exactly. Exactly. But we'll see. You know, I'm going in there, and uh, if they if they're able to tweak it and make it a little bit better, that'd be great. Yeah, as long as I don't go blind. I didn't know that Linda's got it, had it done. Also. Oh yeah, a long time ago. Like, I want to say it was like not long after Drum and Lynn moved here. Yeah, I, I I think that they can probably dial it in just like a touch closer than it than it is. Um, be third. third. Oh, and the guy's gonna be real mad at me. Not doing real good with the grips. 
I mean, on the, the normal mode GP, uh, I was like just barely qualifying until I got to the last one that I was getting. Cause you have to get first place on the final heat. Hmm. Uh, and I, I didn't have to read try any races until the last one. Like, driving is full That's, of If you're errors. too old for LASIK, then like how, and what's, what's the deal with me? Like how <laughs> I'm like five years older than you are six years older than you are. Oh, maybe they weren't as honest with you as they were with Dustin. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, video game session saying that he wasn't able to get it. Uh, it's not a candidate because of uh, the thinness of of their cornea. I've been wearing glasses since, since he was four. And, like, yeah. I don't know. At this point, you're probably just so used to it anyways. It wasn't even something I was really planning on doing. I just, I went in to, to get new glasses. And, you know, I, I had a friend that I grew up with that had it done about a year and a half ago and said every, and everything went really well. So I just like randomly asked about it. And uh, before I knew it, they were like, oh, we can do it this week if you want to do it. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, all right. Uh, but we'll, we'll see, you know, I hopefully the, uh, the touch up that they have to do is like not nearly as invasive or anything like that. So hopefully it's just a very quick thing. One thing I did know, though, I did notice uh, is that the colder weather, man, it makes my eyes get way drier than they used to. When it was you know, five degrees a couple of, like last week, my eyes were getting so dry. Could be worse. You could be Kojima. Is, does he have a problem with his eyes? Oh. Oh, the dude wears literal Coke bottles. But it's part of his, his, his look now. Oh, Ted, here we go. Rally Lancer with a uh, g great list here. The 10 best looking PS1 games. Omega Boost, Parappa the Rapper, Ridge Racer 4, Gran Turismo 2, Silent Hill Valkyrie Profile, Racing Lagoon, Crash 3, Saga Frontier. Oh yeah, Chrono that Cloud. is pretty good. I don't see a Tekken 3 on there though. I feel like Tekken 3 might be the best looking game in this. I, I saw, when, when it came up earlier, I saw a lot of people mention Valkyrie Profile and yeah, like I've not played that much of it, but like it, it would not, it wouldn't have crossed my mind, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, Saga Frontier Two. Yeah, Saga, Fron a, yeah, Saga Frontier Two does look better than the first one. I like how yeah. the first one looks though. Silent Hill is not good looking. I mean. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't really feel like it's that great of a looking game, but the second one is is incredibly good looking. It's. I mean, it's the humans don't look great in Silent Hill, but I mean, it's the it's the atmosphere. It's, it's, yeah. It's still it still builds a very good atmosphere with its visuals. Uh, there was uh, ten dollars from Pokey Pal. 148. Thank you. Thank you. Saying, have you heard about this whole Frankenstein PS3 thing? I'm considering having it done to my Yellow Light of Death's launch unit so I can consolidate my setup a bit more since I currently have a PS3 Super Slim and a PS2. Uh, isn't that the one where you just changed the like the capacitor or something like that? They they figured out what was causing a problem. Right, they figured out how to fix it several years ago, but I don't I don't know what you're talking about. 
Frankenstein PS3 or, or is it like combining units from like a Slim and from a from a from a launch model or something? I, I don't know. I don't. I I I am unaware of this co concept. If anyone can elaborate. Uh, Kurt X says, Pokey Pal's rival is Pal World Pal. <laughs> have you been Have you been following the Pal World stuff? Because I sure almost that entirely through John. Okay. <laughs> John talking to me about it. Like I, yeah. I don't. I I have exactly zero opinions, nor do I care to have an opinion on it. Mm -hmm. It's it, the the whole. The whole debate around it is completely uninteresting. The old, the only, the only thing that I do have an opinion on is the fact you that you know the Pokemon Company released that statement saying we've been getting lots of questions about about you know this game, and rest assured we're going to look into it. And I'm just like, really, people. Really? Are you are you really going tattletailing to Nintendo? Like, that's kind of gross. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> like, having like, nothing else better to do. Right. Like, it's just like so. The, the idea of going to tattletail to Nintendo when Nintendo like is surely aware of whatever, right? You know, both one they already know. And two, when they're they're going out against YouTubers for like absolute fair use stuff, mm -hmm. like or, or 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 not just YouTubers, but like other, you know, people are just making cool fan games. You know, Sega don't do that. Yeah, you know, uh, like come on, people, that's kind of gross. Like I I I am the most unashamed Nintendo fan in the world. And I, I ain't going to be playing IP police for Nintendo because That's, I, I've hey, been, like I you're, personally you're benefit, persona. huh? but secretly you're just like <laughs> sending emails like crazy. Yeah. I'm tattling on myself yeah. to Nintendo. <laughs> uh, so in retrospect, uh, the uh, the uh, PS3 fa Frankenstein thing is putting a GPU from a slim into a launch unit. So, oh, now say what again? Uh, getting back to the 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 comment at hand, uh, the, the to to Frankenstein the PS3, you put a GPU from a su uh, from a slim into a fat unit. And why? To me, that sounds like that would, would that not take away the it brings it back to life? Huh? It brings it back to life, apparently. Oh, it sounds like it would take away the backwards compatibility functions. I think there's like a, a motion engine like in there. In there? Oh, uh, well, it depends on which one. It, it depends you know, on which... it's, it's talking about putting a slim into a fat. I mean, I, yes. I don't, but I don't like, know. Like, 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 like I have no concept unit. of whether that's a good idea or, or useful in any way or not. It's interesting that it's even possible though. So it says essentially 95% of the yellow light of death cases are caused by the GPU failing. So they figured out how to install, to install the more reliable, uh, 40 NM and 65 NM GPUs from the slim PS3 into launch PS3s. GPU failing. I thought I thought it was because of, of a capacitor. Was that not true? I, I felt think like that people that figured out like, oh, you can revive Yellow like, Live Death or, or prevent it with like one simple capacitor replacement. Like I thought that's what people were saying a few years ago. Yeah, I I think that that also is part of it. Capacitor is false, man. People were like talking about that a few years ago. Like okay, as so if that was, that was it. We've done it. What is going on? 
Oh, Vol Voltar, Voltar, like Voltar has has things to say. Um. Yeah. I I mean I've heard that if you just like you know, dump a half a cart carton of milk in there, <laughs> <laughs> brings it back. I, 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 I I've I've actually heard that it's like it's like sixty five percent milk and like thirty five percent Mountain Dew, ideally. <laughs> Put some uh, cocoa powder in there. Some yeah, yeah. Some or, that's like I mean, you, in there, mix it in. You know, some people like to say like thirty well, percent Mountain well, Dew and five percent Dr Pepper. You know. Yeah, and you got to really mix it up. So they recommend like, uh, like those like like those whip it, like uh, electric whippers, mm. like, <laughs> like they like, kind of go over like all the like mm, along the board mm, with it, mm, mm, going at full speed. And then, and then, like on the GPU in particular, if you could just like, like take like a teaspoonful of like chocolate syrup, and just like put it right on the middle of the GPU, that should should be pretty good. Yeah. So Voltar says the uh, the PS3 is the yellow light of death because of the interposer that the GPU sits on. Later. Die shrunken RSX GPU don't suffer from the same uh, fabrication manufacturing flaws, and we can replace the first gen RSX with a new. So, so, so but, does, but to does, do it, you, you you have to like something has to die. Right. I mean, does is I have honestly never really known if yellow light of death is is like an issue at all on Slim or not. Like, I never really hear people talk about Slim problems. But, and right, right. you know, my, my original PS3, which was like the, you know, the last backwards compatible model, um, the last PS2 backwards compatible model, mm -hmm. um, uh, it, it, yellow light of death, sent it to yeah. Sony and I, you know, I got refurb back and you know, it's still fine. It's not my main unit anymore. I use a, right. a slim that, you know, um, <laughs> You know, when it was like 2009, I think, when Best Buy was doing this deal where you bought a Sony HD TV and you got a PS3 Slim and one PS3 game for free. Mm -hmm. uh, which was, you know, my parents got a Sony TV and so they got a free PS3, which they only used for as a Blu-ray player and also like when, uh, you know, my, my cousin's kids would stay with them in the summer, then, you know, play like little big plant and like some ps1 classics and stuff on it. so it was you know my parents are not big movie people so it was extremely light so mm -hmm. like if at the end of the ps3 generation i got i bought my dad like a standalone dvd player so that i could take i could take that slim that was hardly used and you know make it my main system because i want because i thought well you know like setting that up is like my main PS3. Like when I'm not going to be playing PS3 that much going forward, comparatively, right? You know, because the PS4 was out, I was like, this is a good time to switch over to using that system. But, you know, I still got my my fat. I still yeah. use it a little bit for various purposes, but I wonder how difficult it is to make that. To do the Frankenstein, uh, I would imagine extremely difficult. I mean, it's it's you know the, those chips don't don't uh, you know sit in sit on the board the same way that you know chips from something simple like an NES does. You know. Yeah. You know, reflow station. It's fairly in depth. The Frankenstein mod requires advanced hot air techniques. Come down and we can do it. Well, if I find, I, I mean, I have a, a fat that's like a backwards compatible fat, a sixty gig. Uh, I mean, it runs okay, but I don't really use it. 
It's just it's just too big. It's just too big. I mean, is there a reason to do it if you're is it is it there is there a reason to do it preventatively? Or just, you know, wait until it's a problem and then do it if if you have a a yellow light of death. A Y Lod. A Y Lod. The the Elod. The Elod. The Elod and the Odyssey. Um But my my slim my my super slim, the uh the Ethernet port died on it, which is kind of obnoxious. Oh yeah, well my my regular slim the ether I think that's a very common issue. My Ethernet port's dead on that too. The Elod and the Ar Ar Rod. Like <laughs> who's gonna fight who's gonna win in a fight? Who you put your bets on? I mean the fact that Elod or Ar Rod. Like the R Rod. I mean the R Rod was such a big issue uh so early in the three sixty generation that you know, people moved past, you know, whatever uh whatever that model was like so quickly um that you know the r rod has a higher kill count this way, <laughs> the but like i feel like there are more ps3s still out there that are in danger than 360s still out there that would be in danger right because i don't think many people are still using you know us that could potentially get red ring of death yeah, I mean, I've I mean, never, I, I have never heard anyone talk about issues with uh, slim models, like S models. I, I, people kind of poo-poo the E model, and I think it's mostly, I don't think it's because of reliability issues. I think people just don't like. I guess they don't like how it looks. I think it looks fine. Um, it doesn't yeah. really carry the identity of of. Of the, of the 360 brand as much, but uh, I think the thing is, you know, it doesn't have optical, it has crappy analog output options. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if it has a, if it has ethernet, I think it does, but it, it's, it's less connectivity, but it's, it's totally fine for how people would be at all likely to use it today. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. Though, I've because... never heard anyone say anything bad about the 360 slim, certainly. You know, like Replicant is saying, seventh gen was trash for console reliability. Even even Wii's died. You know, it's it's kind of amazing that so many different things had problems that generation. And I feel like since then, nothing has been bad, at least console wise. Like, yes, there's been like issues with different pieces of hardware, like like uh, like stick drift and stuff like that. But for the most part, consoles have been reliable since. I think that that was a lesson that, that you know, hardware manufacturers learned during yeah. that time. Although I guess the the, the the Wii the Wii U NAND, and I wonder how hard that is because I gotta I have to do that. I should probably do that on my on my Wii U sometime, like that NAND replacement. Oh, I thought it was I thought it was just if your Wii U is dead to revive it. It's probably like a pre preventative thing, I'm guessing. I thought it was more of a fix and not a preventative thing. Oh. But I don't know. I could be wrong. But yeah, like Microsoft I mean, both has are been, like native, basically. Microsoft has like native. been real big and like big open vents ever since, right? Not not so much on the on the on the one X, but that one did have um, that one did have. Uh, you know, some more serious cooling. Although I do wonder, like, uh, doesn't like the One X like revolve? I mean, not that it's like a super important system, but you know, it could later on down the line. You know, you know, like say for example, you know, you you know the the Series X, which is surely the last Xbox disc drive. Like, you know, let's say that dies. Well, but you still got One X. You know, you want that working, but. Like, does it use, like, some sort of, like, vapor chamber cooling? Which I don't really know what all is involved in that, but it's, like, you know, something liquid cooling adjacent. And it, it makes you wonder, like, 
you know, how long is that going to work without some sort of servicing if that if if that's you know something that people can do easily? You know? Yeah. Uh, but that's something I probably gotta look into in the future. But I, I do have an eight gig that I just have. It's hacked and it's just like in the closet. Yeah, uh, I, I got it. It, it, was like, it was like a real cheap uh, one that I got from, I think, a GameStop one Christmas when they were getting rid of them for real cheap, like used ones. Uh, except for it came, it has a game pad, but one of the sticks has uh, stick drift on it, and it's real pain in the butt to find replacement sticks for the, the Wii U game pad now. Yeah, uh, I think we're gonna lose Wii U's due to Wii U gamepads dying off before the yeah. Wii U's dying. I mean, luckily there's not a ton of. I'm not gonna make it, am I? Dang it! You missing out on a lot of things have gotten ported. First retry of the night. Yeah, I'm gonna run into the bathroom. All right. And fill up my water. I'll be back. Corey was complaining about that other car, but I, I don't like this one. I don't like those like weird jaggedy things that are like coming off the bottom there. I guess it's like what's holding up that fancy doodad. Is that is that a spoiler? Fancy doodad? Oh. <laughs> Be darn if I know what a spoiler is. Can you tell I'm not a car person? Like this is this is this is like close. Like I like I I've always had a soft spot for Ridge Racer. Like I know you can't say the real cars, but they are they're, they're real style cars. Right, but like they have, I kind of actually like that they've got like all the fictional brands in it. In some ways, that makes it a little more approachable to me. I, I was surprised that like I, the Grand, I'm not sure if it's both PS1 GT games, but like at least one of the Gran Turismo games can use the Neg Negicon as well. So it's kind of cool that some Sony games can use it. Like, Nan it's crazy, really, like how many accessories Namco made for. You know, I mean, for, for Sony systems in general, you know, you've got your your gun cons and I saw some before the chat people were talking about the what, what's it called the uh, was like a spinner controller some people were saying they prefer that to the Negicon for, for racing games I don't know it looks kind of weird to me. it looks like a virtual boy controller with a with a track wheel in the middle <laughs> hmm I think I'm gonna reload my uh, my save. The jog con, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I can't really imagine driving with that. I mean, I know like the Neji con's like kind of a more oddball, abstract concept, but it's it's it feels pretty natural actually. Like we, we it, like it's like oh yeah, that makes sense. I'll be curious, you know, I'm, I'm sure I'll try some things when I'm uh, at John's house, like, uh, like uh, Gran Turismo in the, um, in the, uh, 
in PSVR 2. I'd love to try that. Uh, you know, maybe that could help me like have a really good wheel driving wheel experience. Like I, I've never like racing wheels in arcades are cool. They're fun to use, but I've never felt never felt like good with it like I've never felt like oh yeah like I feel like I am able to play better with this wheel like I, I would say I, I feel like I can play Ridge Racer better with this this Negicon I don't know if it's Negicon or Negicon I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what the I mean it only released in Japan and it's it's like spelled so like you wouldn't call it the neg con. I, I I don't I don't really know exactly what the if it's neggy or neggy. So I was I was filling up my water up there and I looked over and I saw this box for apparently one of my son's friends got them this this high this Nerf hyper uh, Nerf gun. Yeah. It shoots like these these uh these little like gel balls, not like Nerf darts, but like these gel balls. Uh, it's, and I just think it's really funny that it says in the upper corner it says, <laughs> and I don't even understand how this applies to this gun. It says extreme speed up to 110 FPS. <laughs> F That's I mean, it's literally what it says. It says up to. Oh. Like, like, is that just is that just like becoming like is that what what kids are calling fast 110 now? FPS? What's that? Is that is that just like what kids are calling fast now? They're saying like, oh man, <laughs> you're moving it like 110 <laughs> FPS. You're just so fast. Fires per second, feet per second. Shots per second. Oh, Twenty on, round capacity. Fifty round refill canister. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Oh man, this this last heat. It's job butter says parts per second. It's the it's the Nerf Hyper Fuel Twenty. It even comes with protective glasses because it's not it's like a lot more serious. Yeah, like don't be firing that in the house. Yeah, those things are gonna get lost. Do not not do not aim at eyes or face. Use eyewear required for players and people within range, ages fourteen and up. Oh, I feel like man. whoever, like whoever is. Oh, that's, uh, uh... Whoever bought that? See, you've, you've been showing Monty, you know, Predator, and, and now you know, he, now he now he thinks he can. That's, he's all that's ready the, for this stuff. And, yeah. Uh, this is, you know, it's that's a little that's even stouter than T for Teen, you know. Yeah, it, it is. She is not. Extreme speed, 100, 110 FPS. You know. Just just 110. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's some there people was... like I don't know, 120 is a little too too low for me. <laughs> like there are literally yeah. people like that. Uh, uh, there is a a five euro from Indie Gotcha. Thank you. Saying that will there be a video on on Mr. N on Mr. When N64 and Saturn cores go stable. Uh, uh, Ladder seeing rapid development due to dev moving uh, to safer grounds in uh, uh, Ukraine. Uh, probably not. I mean, that's just... We, I mean, who knows? I mean, but I, I, they would be great of points of comparison, I would say, if we were doing a video on a related subject. Like... For example, when the Analog 3D comes out, I'm sure we'll be doing a review of it. Of course, we'll compare it to the Mr. Core. You know? Yeah. Like, big time. Yeah. Um, but who knows? I mean, honestly, you know, the uh, 
Like you're you're focused on Analog Frontiers four, and that's going to be done. And like when that's done, like basically the sky is, is uh, at that point. Um, and that's that's kind of something where we're thinking of it as like the second phase of the channel, I think, mm-hmm. where that's going to be, you know, just something that had been like you know has been in the work for so long. Yeah. And then after that, it's going to be like, hey, we're just going to do the stuff that brings us joy all the time. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. Uh, and uh, maybe uh, my, that could, my, maybe my that video would be it, you know, maybe it wouldn't. What's it just, that? It just depends on what interests us at that time. Yes. Uh, my my tour video will be out in in February. And uh, I really want to get like I like I want that to be in in uh, in February because February marks uh, ten years since uh, moving here, since moving to leaving wow. New York and moving to uh, Cincinnati. Wow, I I guess I didn't realize that you you moved like only like only a few months after the channel started. Yeah, yeah, really. When you think about it, that's kind of crazy. Uh, So, you know, but that and then like I will work on, you know, like I like I, I, I would really like to get that EGM out this year as well. But I think other than that, that's kind of like our outstanding uh, obligations of things that like we've been talked about. And I think that at that point, it's just kind of like, hey, we're going to do the stuff that we feel like doing and in the mo- in that, that moment that, that, that excites us. And it, some things might be overly long. Some things might be overly very short. short. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the uh, the room tour, like the basement tour, will be out in February. Um, in addition to like that, the Synology video to show how we work with each other. Yeah. Even. Uh, which is kind of like a like a side piece to the, uh, the the tour video, but it actually might be out before the tour video, because I told them that it'd be out in like within three weeks. Uh, but I think that that's just kind of what it's going to be. <laughs> it's, it's a side piece, yes, yeah, a side piece to the uh, you know. Uh, so. You know, I think that that's like we're just kind of looking at. Uh, you know, I think we might redo like, uh, like our like our graphics, like uh, our graphics and the. Uh, well, like I mean, you might have logo, noticed the logo wouldn't change. change but... What's that? The logo wouldn't change. But... Oh no 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 no! Like the the, like the thing. Two things are never going to change: are the logo and the uh, and the music, the yeah. intro music. Those things will never change. Uh, but we might like just like change the like basic style of the uh you know like the labels and graphics and stuff like that man man struggling here uh uh we're definitely gonna make make like new uh like like in like a new intro like maybe just like right, different. right. I mean, cut a new. I mean, we want to cut a new intro anyway. Yeah. I mean, we that one's been there for like six years. All the 4K one we've been using for a while. I mean, it'd be nice to have like some newer systems in there and stuff. Uh, Uncommon encoded, like it's it's. I wouldn't expect it to be like very. Uh, I think that when I say about redoing them, it's like they'll be tweaked visually, but maybe just like lighter and easier to work with. Right. Ideally, like 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 in terms of like what our on-screen graphics. Yeah. Or what was like, on, like, on Comment Code saying? Uh, it was just saying the the AMLED graphics are so timeless they don't need to change. Well, you know, like so, one tiny thing, I, I'd be curious. Uh, if anyone had any thoughts on this, I kind of talked to our Discord group a little bit about it. But 
one small thing, I, I don't know how many people even noticed or, um, but like, I, I, I mean, I, I did this in a very simple way. All I did was I just applied a vertical flip. <laughs> um, but I, I did, um, I did the, 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 the comparison graphics for this Super Nintendo episode the labels were at the top instead of the bottom. And the reason I did it was because I, I just, I don't know, it seems like something we should have thought of a long time ago, but it just kind of occurred to me, like, you know, that's where subtitles, I mean, I think you can move subtitles around, but like, that's that's where they should be, right? So, like, that, that it just made, I thought like, well, you know, people, yeah, I think a lot of, a lot of people do use subtitles. Um, oh, come on, come on, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this, you got this, come on, come on, come on, oh, I'm so close every time, oh, um, but anyway, yeah, I mean, I, I put them at the top, uh, just so that it made it easier to use subtitles. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Super sure, Kettle, sure has got the, the, the industry terms here. Yes. <laughs> Super titles. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just thought that because, you know, something we used to like years ago, I think, do a lot more text graphics on screen. Like we haven't, for example, used like that side box for like years and years and years and years. Of course, it worked better like back when we back when we did. Um, your green screen. When we did the green screen stuff, we right. we don't really like in general. I, I've like kind of taken this philosophy of instead of like popping up text information or like having it say like this is what it is. Like I, I just let the script speak for itself a lot more than I used to years ago. And my thinking is, if someone wants to know, like. Like, wait, how is that spelled? Or, 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 you know, they just want to go back and, and understand a little more. They can turn on subtitles if they want to see it. But like a lot of times I'm just like popping up something that would be, that would be written out in subtitles if someone had subtitles on. So it kind of made me think like it's kind of redundant and maybe in some cases a little distracting. Yeah. So I, I don't. I mean, it's not that we never just have like the little pop-up infographics, um, but less less than we used to, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it's you know, show don't tell. Exactly. Yeah. Or, Something or that yeah, in this I case, just... tell, tell don't show. <laughs> oh, you mean? Well, yeah. I mean. Kind it's it's in the same spirit as show don't Call. right but uh a little there is a 499 from robert hernandez thank you saying please don't change the theme music there's nothing more nostalgic than the m-leg theme it's the best yeah there's there's no chance that we're gonna change it oh yeah there's no one no one needs chance. to worry about that yeah you'll never have to worry about that I mean that is that is the easiest thing not to change. Uh, but I mean, just like a refresh in in mo like the on-screen graphics and stuff like that, and uh, I don't know. Just I think that it's going to be. We're just gonna, just gonna make the stuff that we want to make. Oh. You know, I, I think that we'll stop. I mean, like, well, uh, I don't know. I, I just think it's gonna be it'll be entering into come more on, of come a. On, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That close. We, we won't, we won't sacrifice any quality or anything like that. Time. But we're just gonna probably have. You know, like not won't well, like be uh like what am i trying to say uh like just more of a carefree 
feel of like, hey, I want to do this thing, so I'm just going to do it. Let's just let's just make this right now. Someone says, did you know those infographics are all cryons? I mean, that's more of like an old school TV term. And like, I, I don't call them that because like to me, like, I don't know if this is necessarily technically accurate to the term, but like, I always associate that with the old school, like overlay machine. Oh yeah, I guess because it was. I mean, right, right. You know, so I, I don't. To me, it's a different thing when you're doing it with like editing on a computer, because I used to, you know, early in, you know, you know, back when I worked at the college TV station. I mean, we did use those, yeah, those overlays live. I mean, not li live to tape. Um, you know, so so to me, it's a different thing. Yeah. Like it's just it's just a graphic on a computer. Like some yeah, people I mean, might I, call them that, but like I, to me, I reserve that term for the actual, mm -hmm. the act, you know, when you're actually using an external machine uh, to do it. That's just that's just me. Um. Kamal Zamir is saying, anyone else make the mistake of playing and loving control before playing Quantum Break? I can't get into Quantum Break even though I adore Remedies catalog. And I, I do not envy that position because control is so like beautifully weird and unsettling and interesting. And uh, there's really the only, there's only one point where uh, Quantum Break hits that and that's it's very close dingo, dingo, dingo. oh i had it i had it i had it oh. i had it but you know it's it's inter it's it's interesting um people people seem to never really be that big on quantum break I don't know. Like, I mean, it seems interesting to me. Like I, I, I just, I, you know, I played an hour of it back, you know, back when I did that 4k TV episode, because there weren't, there weren't that many games that could take advantage of, you know, any like one X or PS4 pro features mm -hmm. at the time I did that episode. You got a new and I don't remember if that, I feel like that game is not, very high resolution, but it, I know that it is at least improved over base Xbox one. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it seemed, seemed good to me. So maybe I should play quantum break before I play controller or else maybe I won't, won't, won't get as into it. Yeah. Well, you should play them in release order. Yeah. Honestly. That's just putting, that's just putting control and, Alan Wake 2 even further down the line though. But I really yeah, want to okay. play um, Alan Wake 2, so I feel like that's like definitely some incentive. Yeah, but neither one of them are super, super long. Yeah. So I feel as though you could probably play through all three of them in a month if you wanted to. Just really If I really to wanted to. Yeah. I mean but I, I would certainly I, I, not I go would straight want Alan to, Wake 2. but <laughs> time is, is a, yeah. another matter. Well, I mean, it's the end of January, so you are you ready to start putting together your January ga games? You yeah, I mean, January? you know, I was I was actually thinking about writing it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I got I got a lot of my stuff all ready to to go as well, and just put it together. Although, you know, I, we still don't know what we're going to play on the backlog stream tomorrow, so. Um, but I can, I can write what, what I can up to now. Uh, there is a 500 yen from Shindo7. Thank you. Thank you. And hey, guys, my daughter and I beat uh, Mamita no Bakaru on, uh, on Switch together. Oh, is that, that, that's the going on yeah. Spiritual successor, right? Uh, Corey, any games you would recommend to play with a six-year-old? Thanks. 
Um. Uh. I don't know. Donut County was pretty, pretty cool. So you played that uh, with you played that with your son? He, he watched me play it. Yeah. Is it like, is oh, it co-op? I, no, no. It's just that when I said, "Oh, I'm gonna play this," he's like, "Oh, I've I've heard of that." Saw it on the YouTubes. Oh yeah, I mean that's exactly like where he hears, hears everything, and. <sighs> You know, we so we have like the Apple One uh, subscription, which you you get like the Apple Arcade games for free. And uh, I'm going to start this wanted, Grand Prix wanted... over and use. I'm going to try the uh, another another type of car because I don't think the grip okay. is resonating with me. Uh, but the Apple Arcade has you know like it has a bunch of like like free games that you can play. And uh, I'm like, dude, you can get anything you want off Apple Arcade. Okay? I mean, we pay for it, and I can't, I could not talk you guys into, into playing anything on it for the longest time for some reason. You get complete games. And yes, they only last for as long as you have the subscription, but at least they're not like nickel and diamond yet. Like to get you to buy like little add ons and everything. I'd much rather you do that than, you know, dump money into uh into roblox or something uh he's like oh i want to play this game getting over it i'm like are you talking about getting over it with bennett foddy he's like who i'm like with, with bennett foddy you know the guy who made quap <laughs> he's like i don't know what you're talking about you're, you're familiar with quap right oh yeah yeah but that same person made a game called Getting Over It, but it's called and and on the on the store on the Apple on the Apple store it's just, it's called it's just called Getting Over It Plus, and I'm like, oh, it's it's Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. He's like, I don't know who you're talking about, and then he he downloaded it, and it says uh, it says Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy on the on the on the title screen. Like, see. Uh, but what else is there? Um, what is GURP? I'm not familiar with GURP. GURP Plus? Um, what else is, like, what are some other good things? I don't know. I, you know, I've been, tr I've been trying to get my daughter to play that, uh, uh, another code. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I, I got it. Like, I, I, I popped like, it in to just take a look at. Oh, it. I did too. I did too, and I was like, oh, I, you know, I bet. Um. I bet that that uh, that she would like this, and like I cannot for the life of me just like get her to try it. Like, and the more I like ask her if she's tried it or wants to try it, she's like less and less <laughs> wants to. I guess that that version is kind of hard to find. Like the physical? Make, yeah, like they didn't make a lot of them, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Mega X six was six with five dollars. Thank you. It's saying randomness. I heard today that Koji Kondo was in a deep purple cover band. And in April, by Deep Purple, at the two-minute mark, you'll hear the Zelda dungeon music. Oh. I'll, have to, I'll have to look that. By up. the way, I think you, I think you, I think you missed us, at least this one super chat. Oh yes, I did. From uh, from Johnny the Wiz Kid. But oh, no, I, I meant I missed two. I'm sorry. Sorry, I was too busy talking about getting over it with Bennett Potty. Uh, there was uh, five dollars from a Johnny the Wiz Kid uh, saying, "I think the best way to stream old CD games is to get a Windows XP or below with USB, use an OSC or RetroTink 5X, and connect it to your modern computer. Oh, your computer monitor, or 
stream all CD games to get a Windows XP or below with USB. So are you running it out of the computer into the OSSC or RetroTink 5X and connecting that to your modern computer? No, I, I think I'm going with, I'm going, I don't, I don't like this car that much either. That, that's, that's interesting. I'm trying to like think about like, so you're, so wait, what okay, is so you're running an old PC into like a, like a, out into a, um, OSC or a retro tank and an, into like a capture card or something. Is that what's the, are they saying they want to do this? No, just Johnny Whisk is saying that's the best way to stream old CD games is to get a Windows XP or below with USB, use an OSC or retro tank 5X and connect it to your modern computer. So I think you're like going into like yeah, a capture. Card. I, I, I think I would, I think I would agree with that. Yeah. Uh, there's also 999 from Robert Hernandez. Thank you. Saying, uh, considering the technolo technological advances of the modern day, do you think a traditional offline game con game console could be could actually be a viable product, or would it ultimately succumb to piracy? Like, like just a purely offline console with like no co connectivity, just do do it the old fashioned way. Yeah. It's hard to imagine there not being any online functionality like it's hard to like i would i would be all all in on that it's like it would definitely be a bold move that would like be specifically targeting you know old folks and you know people were like well you know games used to ship complete and stuff like that mm -hmm. we didn't need all this stuff i mean i i could definitely i could see it i could see it is it likely? Hard to say. Um, I mean, you know, a product like that would probably not have a lot of exclusives. It would probably be something like the Evercade where, you know, the, it does have like some indie games on it, like some games like the, um, you know, there's like a cartridge that has- um, But they do update and they update the OS. And yeah, but you know they have a cartridge that they have cartridges that have a lot of indie games like like the all like all was awakening like you can run that natively on Evercade, right? Right. Um, so I, I I could definitely see like a physical media focused system in the future, um, that would you know be the right power level to run like most indie games, um. Uh, and you know you, you might get like Linux ports of them or something like that and like a physical media factor but it would definitely it would be something that would be focused um, toward collectors I would say so in that case like piracy probably isn't their biggest concern because their market are people who actually want the thing yeah that's that's kind of that's kind of what I think Uh, Sammy in the chat was asking, what was the last non-online game console? Like, the last console that had no online component, even, like, peripherals. Even like optionally. Yeah. Uh, Does the Xbox Game Boy Advance? Count? But that wouldn't Maybe. be a home console, but still... Yeah. Like, does is there like I watch there be some like weird like Japanese peripheral for GBA? I don't know about. <laughs> get, I, I would love to get first, so that the guy's actually happy with me, and then I can get I can get it. like 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 my main thing is like if I like that that race I was having trouble with if I had a faster. Car by that point in, in the GP, I would have passed him on that straightaway that I kept not passing him. So if I do better early on, I can get better car. Yeah, what would it be? Um, I mean, I mean, PS One. I don't think has any optional accessory. Did, what, what, there, there wasn't some random like online thing. I feel like there might've been some online thing for N64. 
I'm not sure. Yeah, I, it sounds. I mean, I think there even kind of is for like Super Nintendo. Yeah, well, the X Band and stuff. Yeah. But does that really count? I don't know. It probably, I guess it does. It's an optional online component. PS1 or N64. I mean, Saturn had the Netlink. I mean, it's kind of crazy when you think yeah. about it. So, I mean, let, let's say what was the last system that that had no built-in capability? Probably the GameCube, then. Because the Xbox, you don't need an external accessory. I've right. never used online for Xbox, but I, I, I think it just works, right? Yeah. But when you think about it, no, Orion's Angel has a has a has a fair point. You know, your mi mini consoles like they're they're yeah. not they're not designed to go online at all. Which is, you know, it's not a major product. Like it's not something that you can buy more games for at a store. You know, and have it, you know, play them without connecting to the internet. You know, it's not like that. But still, yeah, it is designed to just be. It is what it is, and it. And it works and uh, the Wii Mini. Oh, does Do that have, not like even any... have Wi Fi? I don't know. I kind of forgot. You, thought you have that... one, right? I mean, it's, I know it's composite only. <laughs> you might be right. It might. It might be right. It's composite only. I mean, you know, the Wii was the last console where. Uh, Patches were not really a thing. I mean, they kind of existed for like special cases where, you know, like there was like a major game breaking bug and like Twilight Princess or whatever, right? Like, but they were always these like special case things where you had to download like a, like a special app from the shop channel. You know what I mean? Like it was, there wasn't like a normal patching system. Right. It was like really the last system where that was not really a core part of it. And, you know, and I respect that Nintendo is still for the most part, almost with, with their first party stuff, behave almost as if they don't have patches, right? Yeah. You know, it's, it's funny though. Like, uh, um, Sammy is saying, sounds like nearly every game console in history has some sort of way or accessory to go online and but i i don't think it's like every one of them did but i would say that more did than didn't yeah kind which is kind of interesting because i don't think it really came into its own until you know like 360 xbox 360 and yeah. i mean i mean it was big on original xbox but you know 360 i'd say is when online hit big yeah Yeah, I mean, for me, like, I guess it was like playing Halo 2 on me, on the original Xbox, like the first time I went on online. I mean, for me, it would be. I mean, I was, well, I guess, duh, duh. Of course, like, fantasy are online. Like, I played 400 hours of that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, for me, it would be Final Fantasy. Yeah, on PS2. yeah. I mean, it wasn't like literally the first time I was online, but it was like the first thing of any. Online with the game. Guess, Halo 2 is the first time I used voice chat. First thing of any substance. No, I mean, yeah. not no voice chat. No, I'm saying in, in Halo 2 on the. Oh, uh... oh, oh. I mean, the first thing with voice chat for me, I guess, would have been Time Splitters um, 2. Or no, Future Perfect on, on PS2. Mm -hmm. I did get a headset for that. Oh, I'm not going to make first on the foot on the. On both races in the first heat. Well, that's that's okay. I like this car better. I, I don't I, I don't like the grip type. You know, respect to whoever made that suggestion. Uh, but uh, that, that style was not not gelling with me. I wish it felt like a cheat code. So what what Neji kind of am I getting here? 
Oh yeah, you said you're doing it before the end of the. I need, I need to do it before the end of the stream. End of the stream. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna do a refresh here. I mean, if I. If I'm gonna spend seven, like sixty-five to seventy dollars on this, why not spend eighty dollars and get one with the box, the documentation, and uh, Rage Racer? If I'm gonna be spending close to that, anyways. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, mine I mean, was, I'm gonna give you the box. Mine was I'll give like you the fifty, box. but it was no box. Yeah, I mean, I don't need the box. I, I was, I'm giving you the box. You can add it. It'll be behind you in the shop. <laughs> It'll be, be the, I mean, you all only see the, the smallest portion of this wall of boxes, really. Well, but, I mean, we were kind of throwing around the idea about how it would be kind of a fun idea to do a, a video like like tried did with the Super Scope. It's like every game that uses ne the Negicon. Yeah. Reviewed. Or I can just get one of these. Uh, this one is fifty-eight ninety-nine, and it looks like it's in pretty good shape. I might add this one to my cart. There's no box or anything with it, but I mean, it does look like it's. It's not amazing, but what is this one? Oh, this one's in the U.S. Sometimes that can raise from the price because, uh, I mean, mine was from the U.S. as well. Yeah. But sometimes that can raise the price just for con the convenience factor. Yeah, the I mean, the shipping on it is $9. So it's like almost $70 at that point. And why not just pay $10 more to get it with Rage Racer and the box? Right? Yeah. Am I right? Or am I yeah. right? Do you have a version of, of Rage Racer? I do, yeah. Do you? No. I can I can just give this to you. <coughs> I'll, I'll trade it trade you for uh, Fan Division two two thousand. Oh yeah. Um. And I have you know my 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 Japanese P S O N E. I could uh, play that. The, be, be warned, the, the Negicon controller is a little short. Uh oh, we did this. I thought maybe. Did someone buy it out from under you? I thought maybe somebody did, but While I we're forgot. We're about on the stream here? Yeah. Uh, I have a couple of these like two disc cases for the PS4 games, PS5 games in my uh, in my cart. And what I've been doing lately, like if I get a game that I have it on PS4 and I got like a PS5 version, like recently, like uh, I got like Tony Hawk Pro Skater One and Two like on clearance from Best Buy ps5 version i had it on ps4 but what i've been doing is i've been combining the cases oh so i just put both versions of of the game like in the one case i got these like sleeves for for discs and just like put it in there and then i put the uh the ps4 like the the cover for it i just slide it in and i reverse it so that's like the inside cover oh okay so it's just a just a way to cut down on having multiple, I guess, of the same thing. Because I'm not going to have room forever, and I may as well consolidate. Well, so stuff like that. where do you where do you put the empty PS4 games? I just put it in my closet. Yeah, Al alongside the, the VHS like, put, tapes. Yeah, but I mean, sometimes I'll get like busted up ones. Like, you know, I got uh, uh, 
something it was like recently and it was like messed up mm. so i had to swap it you know yeah i mean that's how i avoid like double stacking and stuff uh but i mean i could get one of these cases they have like the uh you know like like the, the additional tray in there but what i did is you know like i can i'm, I'm not talking about this ball i'll show you Like to get first, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're not going so, like, for Tony Hawk, is what I got here. And then you just uh open it up, and this is like how I've been doing it, it's like in a like a little sleeve, so it just you know helps me combine it in the one. I do this because, like, if it doesn't uh have something else holding it in place, it'll slide around. So I just do that and see I got the uh the PS4 covers like in there inside of it. It just like cuts down, right? Cuts down on space. And I don't like lose any materials or anything. Yeah, I got my pajama pants on. Usually I don't uh wear pajama pants at this time. I or like during the stream. Like my I might have like Sweatpants on, but I don't have like strip jam pants on. But yeah, I mean that's what I've been doing with a lot of things, you know. Certain things like uh, uh like Death Stranding. I have like the director's cut. I, I haven't got I combine that. Uh, I'd like to. Yeah. I just feel like it's a good way to cut down and consolidate. Yeah. Especially when you're as your shelves are becoming increasingly space constrained. Yeah, exactly. Although I, I am planning and kind of going through and see if there's anything that I would not feel particularly sad to part with. Cause I, I had a stack before and then I just kind of forgot about it. So I don't, just don't have time to do this right now. Yeah, I mean, I will put them up in there for sure. <sighs> I still think that like Genesis games are the most fun thing to get because I love the cases. But it's weird, you know, like I don't, I very rarely think of it as like, oh, I'm collecting for a system. Yeah, I don't think of it. I'm just I'm just bolstering I, my I'm library. I'm just getting the stuff I want. Yeah, we had like a yeah. I mean, we had we had kind of a little talk a few weeks ago about how I like to refer to my, like my game collection as my my library, my game library, versus like like a straight up collection, you know. doing amazing with this car either although it's the brand that i did the uh, previous gp with. oh you gotta work on that brand and your brand your own personal brand well there's uh there's another grip manufacturer that i didn't that i haven't tried that's available for this gp yeah uh you know i like to use the word library because I think it's a good way to describe it to people who don't like follow this kind of stuff at all. Um, because I think that when people see like, oh, you got like this big wall of games, but when you call it like a library, people like, I don't think that people would uh, second guess it if it was like books. Right. Like they would, they would like most people like who don't play any games 
be like, oh, that's that's cool. You know? And really, I mean, just like a library, like to us, a lot of it is literally reference material, right? Yes, exactly. Exactly. For the things that we do. Yeah. Sandra says, I call my collection the Jedi Archives. <laughs> I like How it. do you lose a planet in there, though? That's the, that's the real question. Ooh, we got a $5 from chicken and fish. Say, misspoke last week. Pre-ordered Rocket Knight Adventures or re-sparked. Not sparked. No. re -sparked. Mellow Yellow. Better than Mountain Dew. Do our N. Right or now, the Mountain Dew. Right Mario now, looking for Mario Golf World Tour. Golf Tour on eBay. Toadstool is it? Toadstool Tour. Uh, Toadstool Tour is GameCube. I don't. Is there one that's called World Tour? I'm not sure. I don't know. Oh man, this guy's not gonna be happy with me. I, he's not. He's not gonna. Uh. Library makes more sense because the way we play games. He's not gonna it's give me a very drink car. I don't know. I just think that's an easier way to convey it to somebody who does not know that somebody like could be into this, into games like this much to like have this much stuff in here. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a good way to get it across. And also, maybe, for better or worse, like, diffuse the situation. All right, let's see if I do any better on this race with this car now. I'm not, I'm right. not optimistic. <laughs> I think this, this should be your last, last attempt here. Well... It's, it's my, it's my, I mean, I'm not going to start from the beginning. Right. But I, 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 if I don't finish this race on the first try, I'll, I'll give it a few, few, few goes. Right. Sealed games are sales stock. I'm a, not a collection. I mean, the only, the only games that I keep sealed are if I, for some reason, have a digital version of it. I mean, some games I, like, like, um, like PlayStation and Xbox games, like, I always install them immediately. Switch games, like, sometimes I might not open them right away because, you know, I've need to install it mm -hmm. like for instance you know drum and i played um uh, fight and rage on monday last week oh okay which you and i had already done right yeah yeah but they i think they would added a whole bunch to it well but you know we had already played it and you know i had my physical switch copy yeah and uh you know, I so it was sealed because I I had no real need to play it until it came up for uh, Marky's directorship. He wanted us to play that in Captain Commando, mm -hmm. and uh, and so we did. Um, uh, <laughs> you know, funny thing about about streaming um, Fight and Rage. You know, I absolutely hate how modern consoles handle local co-op or or like how they try to be smart about it wait like like well you know for example some you know you might need like a local account on the system for example right like you need to uh you yeah, know that was a problem with uh, diablo 3 
Um, mm-hmm. You know, we, we, we co-opt that on, on the Switch. And, you know, Drum and Lynn both had to have a local account on my Switch. Like, to play the game at all. Like, you had to say, like, okay, who is holding this control? Well, Fight and Rage, <laughs> we were, like, trying to figure out how to customize the controls. And every time the game boots up, player two disconnects. And we thought it was like controller problems and we were we were trying all sorts of stuff. Yeah. And we just could not figure it out. And because like you go to the control config and it says, you know, okay, p- listening for controller input. And in our words, it's like, which controller you want to do? And it, the second controller was never on. Well, it took forever and ever and ever and ever. And finally someone said, start the game and then and it'll let the you controller. connect. Yeah, yeah. And we, so then we said, but it's like so stupid that it like literally disconnects the control. Like if the controller is on, if the controller is on when you boot the game, controller two goes away until you start the game. So there's no way you can't even do custom control config for player two until you've already gotten into the game and then you pause. But you can do all that for player one. The menu, it's just, it's dumb and it's inconsistent. It's like, you don't have to be smart game by like trying to like turn off controllers that I'm not using that might not, may or may not be used. Like just let me use the controllers for that I have connected when I launch the game. Like it doesn't have to act like it's smarter than me. it took us so long to figure it out. Like what happened to just plugging your controllers in and it's not like wanting to tie an account to to you and it's not trying to like you know Well you, you can like you know like on like on on a PlayStation at least you can log in it just as a guest. Yeah but, but, but why 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 do you I, I why do you even have to do that? Like I don't even want to ha- I don't even want that to happen. You know? Yeah. I don't know. It's, that, it's, that's probably an OS level. It's thing. dumb, but like our our old man brains, they're used to co-oping in much simpler ways. Like it 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 it, it was like literally probably like forty five minutes past the stream start time when we actually started playing the game, and it was more problems <laughs> than just that. I mean, there were there were other technical issues we were having with some of the alerts and stuff because drums were migrating the alerts over to a, another another system. Oh no, oh no, I've, I've almost got this. Okay, 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 okay. We might be good. We might be good. All right, I'm definitely doing better with this car than with uh, with the grip car. <laughs> I, I like the balanced cars the best, though. To be honest, I think that's. Uh, that's what I had on the on the GP I did on Friday. All right, all right, we're moving forward. If I can beat this race, then I get to another save point for the final race, so we can do it. All right, I just bought that version with the box and Rage Racer, so I'll give you the box and Rage Racer. Two uh, player mode and super punch out. Is that like uh like a, a mode where someone else plays like the, the enemy characters or is it like another little Mac or something? There might be a little something in my brain there that I might have heard of that. They see he's talking about these other managers that I that I was playing with in the, the other stories. <laughs> That's kind of neat though. Yeah, I mean they you know they got these little connections. Yeah. 
you know, all, all, no matter how bad you kind of do in like the first two heats, like that, they're, they're kind of like very, 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 very cross with you. If you, uh, <laughs> if you don't do first place in the first heats, but you have to do first place in the final heat, but then like, they're kind of like, they're kind of nice to you. I've noticed in the last heat, like, even if you didn't do that great in the first few, they're kind of like, they're kind of like, oh, well, I, I, I'm kind of attached to you now, kid. Now I'm looking at this JogCon. It looks, I wonder, like, if the compatibility list is the same or, or different. Like, to me, it doesn't. It just does not seem nearly as cool. Yeah, it just doesn't seem as appealing. Well, and it's not as expensive. How much is it? Uh, like this one's like thirty. They have like then they have dark gray ones and like normal PlayStation gray ones. I still think it looks like a Virtual Boy controller. <laughs> it really does. Like the handle shape is like totally yeah. Virtual Boy. It has rumble. The Jogcon might be good for Arkanoid, yeah. Yeah? It's like a, use it on the Mister, maybe. Game Park says, yeah, I have the Jogcon. The, the Nejicon is, is is cooler. Does does it like does it does it like automatically recenter or is it just like spin forever? I don't know. Looking at the different pictures of it, uh, the uh, it looks like it might just spin forever. See, that that doesn't appeal to me, and that's what it looks yeah. like. But if it's if that's not what it is, then you know I could see I, I could see the value. Yeah. Alright, I ordered one of the black ones, so cool. um, Yeah, I mean I, I it's, the, a, uh, it's a really Milwaukee. fun I control. Might... I, I like it a lot. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it immensely. I think I'm going to end up driving to Milwaukee this year. I got a contact about uh, about flying again. Oh, yeah? And, you know, it's like a six-hour drive for me. Like, you would, you would spend that much, like, dealing with airport crowd. Almost. Yeah, and I don't have to worry about the, the, the door, like, ripping out. Uh, and also, response, you know what? Well, I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say since we aren't confirmed. Yeah, I'm, and we got a response yeah, nothing, from the other nothing, the other nothing. con. No, not not that I've seen. Uh, now, like a six-hour drive is, I think, is totally, totally fine. Especially like when you're like used to like driving with kids in the car, and when you can just drive by yourself. <laughs> it's so luxurious. Yes. Um. Voltar, you want want to say to get you give you something or get you something when we're there or what? In Milwaukee. <laughs> when you do that video about how we do videos together, will you show the Bush's Welcome Center? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. Small Milwaukee. So, some, some beast. We can do this. We can do this. We got it. We got it. We got but, it. But, you know, we like just driving by it. yourself and, and yeah. being in the, in the, in the, in the car. It's like by yourself, it's just it's just nice. Uh, and if I can, the amount of time it takes to like you know get prepared to go to the and like fly there, and I would have to like have a layover in Chicago. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's not yeah. And mine's not as drive, and oh, I can like leave. Wanted whenever. to drive last year, but there was I think some miscommunication. 
Well, I just didn't think. I just think that there was a. Well, you were you were going to drive, and that was why they got my flight so late because they were confused, thinking we were both driving. Something like that, I think. I I don't remember. Um. I don't know, but it, like, uh, I don't know. It just seems easier to drive, and like the way the planes have been acting lately it makes makes me, <laughs> makes me nervous. Replicant saying, "I'd like if you guys made episodes out of your the cons that you attend, just like a documentary style. Like, I mean, we, I." I we, if I if I do drive, I could easily bring. Oh wait, no, that that was okay. There is one more before the the final save. All right. I mean, then I can bring my camera and stuff. Like I like we did last year also. Oh yeah, I mean I we we came back with a ton of stuff for Analog Frontiers mm -hmm. Part Four. Like great. Yeah, stuff. but we can uh we can just do something fun with it. This year I could yeah. just bring my backpack with uh. Um, just for my camera and tripod and stuff, it can make it real, real easily, easy if we wanted to. I just think it's easy. It's easier to do it, less stressful. And I think it's just, I just think it's nice to just drive by yourself. And six hours is, I feel like if you go over like seven hours, it's kind of like, oh. You know, I don't know, but six hours does not feel like that long. I mean, I would. I don't, I don't know. Any con that was like within eight hours, like I would be inclined to drive rather than fly, but I guess it just depends on the circumstances. Yeah, six there is fine. Six back, six back is awful. No, I don't think so. It just gives you time to decompress. I think. Yeah, the the drive back is always way worse. A lot really, I. For me. Like, cause you're you're tired from the weekend. You don't, you know, you're not. There's nothing in particular where you're looking forward to on the drive like you were on the way up. Yeah. Uh, Afterthought fifty five is asking, how do you guys choose what game to stream each week? Is it is it random? And pretty much. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> yes. Like, I, have, like I've decided that... this on Friday, which is like really early. Like usually we're not like that far ahead, but like I I just like you know I I, fin I finished the episode. It was it was released on Friday. I was really tired at night, so I didn't feel like doing much of anything like too intense and I was just like you know I, I need to finally try out the Nejicon that I bought a few weeks ago mm -hmm. and then like I was just like kind of having a good time with it so I was like oh man like I, I should I should stream Ridge Racer 4 uh, on because I was feeling you know confident enough to stream it because I've, I've been afraid of these earlier Ridge Racer games because you know, the drift mechanics, and they don't have, like, the nitrous and stuff. It kind of makes, you know, makes them, I think, it gives them a little more, you have a little more flexibility in your approach to how you play. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, so they, I, I've always liked these earlier games, but never felt like I, you know, like, I was, like, ready to, like, commute, like, good enough to, like, commit to, like, really making any good progress in one hour stream. I, I like I felt primed. I was like, yeah, that'd be that'd be really fun to do on Sunday. So I you know, I decided that. But oftentimes we don't I, I, I would say probably like seventy to eighty percent of the time we we decide what we're gonna play the day of. Yeah. Unless we were like sent a code for something that we planned on playing. Yeah, or like you know, a game just came like, out that week that we were, like, saving for the stream or something like that. Yeah. Come on. 
think I might play Gravity Circuit next week. Ah. Gravity Circuit. Did you get your physical copy? Yeah, I got that. Like, I feel like. It... Where'd you get it from? Uh, I got it from from Play Asia. Okay. And I, it does have mine. It does just have ship the... because it was with the uh, with the Apollo Justice Collection, which just came out like last week. Oh, okay. So, I, so you got the Japanese of that one. Well, I, I, I went ahead and pre-ordered it before the American version was announced. And like, yeah. I was, part of me was like, man, I should probably cancel that because, like, you know, support physical American releases of Phoenix Wright games, which, you know, is, you know, mm-hmm. because 5 and 6 were digital only on 3DS. Right. So, um... So I was like, yeah, I should do that. But then like the other part of me was like, I had actually already like canceled the, because I had ordered, I, th- I think I put gravity circuit. I put gravity circuit. Uh, the, that, um, my Meta or whatever that going on, that going yeah, on yeah. spiritual successor, which there's rumors that's going to be localized in the next announced the localization of the next Nintendo Direct, but... Oh, really? The, I, 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 I saw a rumor it. for it, but... Uh, but I, I'm still getting the Japanese version anyway, just because... Mm. Because it seems like a game that I... It's a it's it's the kind of game I would double dip on anyway, just because of the... 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 the you know, the history behind it and all that. Mm. Um... But I, I want it anyway, regardless. But yeah, so I think I had that, Gravity Circuit, and Baldur's Gate 3 in the order. But then people were talking about like, well, you know, that Japanese version is going to require a, going to require like a download. Like, is it, like yeah, the, yeah. The whole game can't fit on one disc. And right. so it was obvious that the Larian version was going to be better. Even oh, yeah, though, like, yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't love collector's editions. Like, I would have rather just had, like, a standard edition for that price. Same but, here, but... But it, it also seemed like, you know, for the the physical media purist in me, it seemed like, yeah, Larian's version is going to be a lot better because it's on two discs. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so I decided to cancel that and get the Larian version instead, and then I rebuilt the order with gravity circuit, the going on thing. And, um, I added Apollo justice. And then they announced. Oh yeah. A very good version of Apollo justice. And like, I, I might have considered, I would have been more inclined, I think to consider, uh, you know, do doing canceling it and redoing the order again. But I'd already done it once, and it's like, I am not doing that a second time. Yeah, because it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt to cancel stuff with them, isn't it's it? It's actually not. Actually, I had a really great experience um, like that. Th- so when I canceled that, when I canceled that order, um... I had an option to cancel. I had to cancel a previous order with PlayAsia where there was just not something, or I was going to cancel it and then reorder with like, because again, like I think like there was another version of something, I can't remember exactly what it was. There was another version of something I wanted elsewhere. And so I said, oh, I think it, was it? it might have something to do with like either a Final Fantasy 14 soundtrack or 16 soundtrack. I don't remember. But anyway, like I wanted to take something out of the order. Like the option to cancel wasn't there. And I want to take something out of the order. And I also wanted to add the PS4 version of Shredder's Revenge because that, uh, the Japanese version came with a free soundtrack. Uh, at no extra cost. And I'd already, like, pre-ordered, like, the Switch version, but I was like, well, I really want that soundtrack, so I'll just get the PS4 version on PlayAsia. 
but I couldn't cancel. So I just got on, like, they have, like, a live chat customer service. Or, no, I might not been live chat. I might have been email. But either way, it was like, I was, like, actually shocked how, uh, oh, no, come on, no. Oh, I almost had it. I almost had it, and then I just, like, bumped into walls right there. Um, uh, so anyway, I contacted them. I'm like, hey, can I take this out of the order and add the PS4 version of Shredder's Revenge? And they were just like, like almost immediately re uh, got back saying, okay, did it. Credit in your account for, you know, the difference. <laughs> yeah. I was like really shocked how easy it was. Yeah, they seem to be like really quick to respond. But yeah, I just, I did not want to like cancel an order with those same games again and besides i i have the, the physical japanese version of ace attorney one two three so even though i have the american version of great ace attorney like it that would be alphabetized differently anyway and actually it actually probably ends up putting them together alphabetically because the japanese style is gyakuten saiban or however you say it and so it actually puts the G's, it, it puts them a lot closer together on my shelf now with the you know, Great Ace Attorney Chronicles because the Japanese version of Great Ace Attorney would be like, I think it's Dai Gyakuten Saiban. So it would be in the D's. So in some ways it kind of works out. But I just thought it would also be just nice to have Gyakuten Saiban 1, 2, 3 and Gyakuten Saiban 4, 5, 6 together. But yeah, it's, it's really nice that we will be able to have a physical um, of five and six. I assume the DLC is included. I actually never, I forget if six has DLC. I think there was like, it's like some DLC that involves like, like a shark or something. <laughs> like some people dressed in like sailor outfits or something uh, that I actually never got. Man, I really screw up that last turn pretty regularly, which is problematic. That's what, that's what cost me the last attempt. Oh, is this... Finally, I've been waiting for uh, everything, everywhere, all at once to be, like, on Prime. And finally it's... To be on what? Um, to be, like, on a streaming service that I can just watch it. Oh, really? I, I I thought, for some reason, I thought you had that on Voodoo. Mm -mm. What's it on? Uh, it looks like it's on Amazon Prime. For f to, to watch for free on yeah, Amazon for, Prime? Yeah, for free, yeah. Well, me and Drum should probably prioritize that. So the new one is Apollo Justice, right? Well, it's yeah, I mean, it's called... I'm I mean, just, like, so... looking because... I'm just seeing because I have the other two. Correct. It, uh, is is it, I, I guess they just call it? Do they call it Apollo Justice Trilogy? They call it uh, Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Ace Attorney Trilogy. Yeah. Switch. I mean, the fourth game is Apollo is called Apollo Justice Ace Attorney in in America, um, mm -hmm. but they. Uh, I mean, five and six is Phoenix, right? But. Because he, he, they brought Phoenix back, but Apollo like still plays a major role in the story. Like it's, I guess in, in a lot of ways, like his his character arc is kind of the most important thing. That, the the most the thing that is most consistent across the three games that like you know telling his story and his connection to all that stuff, all the stuff that happens. Even though he's only the main character in the first, but you sometimes play some of the other games. Well, I haven't played any of them, so that's some of, for some reason I have them all, but don't. I, I mean, mean, you, sh you should. You know, I think you would. You would take to it like if you wanted to like reset, because I don't even think of them as visual novels. Like, I guess they fall in that category, but like, I never thought of them that way at first. Um, like, if they're really the only series of, like, visual novels that I'm, like, really into, 
I mean, because there's a lot more, there's, there's gameplay to it, you know? I, I always, you know, because it's, I think of them more as adventure games than yeah. visual models. Well, looking at the cover of this, the girl in the yellow, is that the same girl from, uh, from, uh, Ghost Trick? No. She looks very, si- okay. No. That's Athena. Okay. The girl in Ghost Trick is Lynn. Oh. I th- they they look very similar. Uh, Yellow I, I can clothing see what made, with red makes hair. You think that. Yeah. But it no, would be there's... neat if they took place in the same universe. It would be neat. No, no, they don't take place in the same universe. Three, two, one, go. I mean, you should give the first Phoenix Ride a try. Yeah. I mean, you definitely want to play them in order. Like, the the first one is probably the hardest. I mean, you, you'll you'll want to make, like, some saves before some critical decisions and stuff like that. Although, I forget, the, I forget. Is, is, is the uh, the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, is that a prequel? It is. Is it one game, or is it... It's it's two games. I, uh, I've i only played the first one so far. A lot of people kind of consider them almost, like, one game, though. Because, like, there's a lot of loose threads at the end, end of the first. Mm-hmm. So, I really need to get, I really need to get around to playing the second. But it's it's a I mean it's a prequel like like a century earlier. Mm-hmm. Like you play yeah. as like Phoenix's like ancestor from Japan. There's that two dollars Canadian from Jeffro. Thank you, up nerd. How much time you got left on this one here? That was when you got the map. Huh? I'm just wondering how much time you got left. You got these. Three more. It's just it's eleven thirty. Oh, 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 yeah. I, 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 th- this this is my last attempt at this race because it's it is my it's my it's the it's, I I don't have any continues left. I do have a save be- two two races before this, but I'm not going to redo them. Actually. Mr. Dusty, every, I, I just have to say, everyone should play Trojan on the NES. It's not good, it's not bad, it's not a game, but it's a game. You know, there there is... I, I rented that game when I went to uh, my, my grandparents' house as a kid. And I later that night got uh, uh, like a stomach bug and threw up all over the place. <laughs> so I, I associate... Uh, be like being sick like with with the music of that first stage <laughs> it's it's really weird what kind of game is it i don't even know anything about it it's just like a side scroller or like a uh, you got a sword and a shield like for some reason that title like just makes my mind go to like strategy game oh really for whatever reason I, 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 I don't know. I would not <laughs> expect they get to go to strategy games. I don't know. Expecting maybe something. I don't know. Like no. the Trojan War? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, for some reason, I just like think of that. Like that first level music specifically is just like throwing up. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, you, you should, you should do, you should do a, a, a gag in a video sometime, where like, like something's going to make you throw up, and you go into another room, and you just go, ah, 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 you hear in the distance, and then there's just like Trojan music in the background. Yeah, uh, it's weird. Like this. Just, just very few things that make me feel sick like that in a weird way. Uh, the um, first song on, uh, what is it? on, on the uh, album by uh, My Bloody Valentine. Uh, is, it, is it like 
Selfless or something like that. What is the name of it? Their album. Like Loveless or something like that. Let's see. Oh, that's, that's the name of the play in Fall Fantasy Seven. Lovelessness. Yeah, like the the first song on that, like I associate with being sick too. Because like just the way that that song sounds, it almost like sounds like being sick too. <laughs> like the the song sounds like like being sick. <laughs> I'm just like but, I'm abused by the idea of just like you being like a a a music reviewer and you're just like this song sound sounds like being sick yeah i mean it it totally is i mean does do you like does anybody understand like when i say that that first song sounds like being sick like you can kind of hear it does 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 that make sense when i say it because i was sick when i heard it and it, it does sound like being sick I don't know. <laughs> I'd be I'd be curious to see to hear you if come up here. No, you be up here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So Joe Joe T says, yeah, it does make sense. I mean, it sounds. I don't know. <laughs> makes perfect sense. Solid observation, actually. I mean, that's <laughs> solid observation. Yeah, uh, you know, it's just it's weird. Uh, just like that album, like because I got sick when I was listening to it, and I associate that first track on it with uh, with with throwing up. Uh, Sandy is a Sheltie, which is like a small collar. I got. I got to take the bean to get a. Uh, she gets groomed on Thursday. Mm. Get, a, get an old haircut. Use a safety pump. Meow. Mm. Well, is that gonna do it? I think that's gonna do it. Um. Thanks so much, everybody, for 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 sticking around and uh, everyone for donating this week. I hope everyone has a great week yep. ahead of them. We'll see you next time. Yep. Take care, everybody.